Hello. Dude, I can't Hello. Even get to we are live. Oh, right. We're live. Oh wow. Oh, hey wow. everybody. Wow, Whoa, the stream looks different. What? Who are these characters? Wow, wow, we wow. Wow, wow, we wow. It's like Clay's still here. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back with some D and D. Uh, anyone who's watching, you'll notice that. Hey, what the hell? Who are these people? Who are these characters? Where's Where's Vectiona? Where's Theodlin? Where's Timit? Hey, what's going Where on? Where the here? French toast is Timlet? But what we're doing is the B plot. So what, what in the world? What in the world's going on here? <clears throat> our last episode of the Sentinels of New Hope. Uh, you guys had just defeated Rog, Kebra Rog, but you're in the middle of, I mean, it's a very pivotal part of the story. So I wanted to have everyone there, but the next month or so, uh, the schedules just weren't aligning. We couldn't get everyone there and we're at a very pivotal part of the story. So I didn't want anybody to miss it. So we came up with compromise. We are going to do, oh, hold on one second. I've got a message coming in. Hold on. Got a subscription from that dude, CG19. What a badass! Holy shit! I heard he's got bucks. a huge hammer. I, I, that, that's what people have been saying. Like when you know, I talk to people. That, that that's what, that's the first thing many people say. They're like, yo, hey, that dude, hey uh, huge hammer. that dude CG just uh, resubscribed to me, and they go, the guy with the big hammer. That dude, the huge hammer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we make him a compromise. We are going to do a, a B plot campaign where uh, each of you created uh, new characters, a little lower level. Still going to take place in Cyrodiil, so we might see some familiar faces. But we're going to follow some new characters, and uh, we're going to play every week. So um, the players they can stop in and play whenever they like. It. You know, weeks like this, we might only have two or three people. Some weeks we might have five people. So. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I want to play D&D &D and, you know, if that means, uh, you know, a little smaller group and learning some new characters, uh, you know, that's what we got to do. So <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and introduce everyone. So what I want you to do is introduce yourself, give uh, the name of your character, the class, and just a br like a very brief overview, and then we'll get into more extensive uh, introduction uh, when you guys are actually introducing your characters to each to each other, so we'll start with Mark. All right, uh, my name is Mark. I play Anton Conley, the Hexblade Warlock, <laughs> guy who found a sword, used it, and now he's stuck with it. Hell yeah! What was the name of the sword again? I didn't write it down. Uh, forewarning. Forewarning. Or for, yeah, forewarning. Okay, just so I can. Remember that, Mark. Name Actually, forewarn. Of... Forewarn. No ing at the end. Oh, forewarn. Okay. And pin message. Okay. Uh, so good. Yes, that's Mark's character. Next, we'll go with Chris. Uh, what's up? I am Chris. I am playing. Umi Dark Shadow Seeker, oh, and <laughs> uh, he is a failed magical artist um, who uh, trained in sorcery to become better at magic and only became worse at, or to become better at art and only became worse at art. So now he is just an angry man, and he chain smokes cigarettes. Oh yeah, I like him. Let me choose Mark. There we go. Image a little bigger here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. And finally, we've got Jess, aka Icy. Go ahead. Hey, I'm Jess, and I'm playing Octavia Tawny Kagar. She is a beast barbarian. Um, Hashtag foreigner because she's from the far, far west. <laughs> and that's all I got for now. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, 
Uh, the uh, introduction to the campaign is each of you have come to the city of Cyrodiil, uh seeking uh, you know either a new life, fortune, power. Uh, you guys uh, each have your own interests. You uh, have never met each other, but each of you um, <clears throat> have come looking for uh, work, and you heard about a job uh, for uh, 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 a job to uh, retrieve something. Uh, you've been, you know, whether it's through taverns or word of mouth, you've heard that, hey, somebody's looking for some adventurers. So uh, you head to the Wicked Worm. So let's go ahead and go to Siridan. Hell yeah. Get some mood music. Anytime now the map will load. One day. It'll get there. Stuck on 99%. Time, uh, you go when you feel like it. It's okay, Rocky. You go when you feel like it. <laughs> okay, uh... Hmm? <laughs> Is it just stuck for you guys, too? It yeah. says game pause loading Searden. Okay, well, I'll refresh the page. Oh, alrighty Thank then. Thank you, Forge. We're off awesome. to a good start. I will also, I will restart also the refresh page. the page. Look at us all. Look at us. Look at Who us. Thought? It's been a bunch of refreshers. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not me. That's why it is. Oh, this is the Maze Crew. Yeah, oh, this yeah. Is the yeah. The Shenanda it's the Squad. Crew. Maze Crew. Yeah. We, we've done so much together. We've <laughs> farmed, we've mazed. We have done the uh, most insignificant but most fun things together. <laughs> Kevin, there we Kevin go. Chat okay. is also refreshing. Oh, thank you, Kevin Bacon and Tremors. By the way, hey, Kevin Bacon, hey, what what is your what are your hey, feelings on the, what, Kevin. what are your feelings on the new Tremors? It's kind of fucked up. They don't have you in there. I mean, unless it's a secret and you are in there. There's a new Tremors coming out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, man. That's going to be... Kind of fucked up. Password, right? <clears throat> Not the same without Kevin Bacon, TBB. Oh, Kevin Bacon won't tell us. I bet I bet he's in there. He's got to be in there, right? All right. Kevin uh, Bacon didn't die in the first Tremors, did he? I can't remember. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> no, he, he did, did not. Okay. He was the hero. Okay. <laughs> uh, also, good news, everyone. It is not a full moon. So we don't have to worry about that druid pretending to be a werewolf. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he died. Yeah, well. <laughs> didn't we kill him? Yeah, but we you didn't know. kill him. Well, they our, killed him. Yeah, yeah, those 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 guys killed him. I heard they're pretty crazy. Those okay. Guys. So you guys uh oh shit, I forgot uh, music. That's what I heard one of them lives in the yeah, arena. Gambles away their money all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard he's got a big hammer. <laughs> Everybody's got huge hammers. Uh, He's recently he... single, I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if your B, if your B campaign character starts hitting on Theo, I would laugh so hard. <laughs> Dude, who knows how he flows? He just—he's an artist. He doesn't he's see an gender. <laughs> okay, I don't like that song. Oops. So you guys uh, head into. Actually, let's go ahead and roll for okay. uh, who is going to be the first person to enter the tavern. So one d okay. three, one will be one Mark, game. two will be uh, Chris's character, and three will be uh, Jess's character. So are you rolling or are we... I'm rolling? Okay. Okay. Okay, Mark, your character, uh, uh, perhaps uh, egged on by uh, a certain patron has decided to head in early uh, to uh, get a lay of uh, the tavern. And uh, you uh, open up uh, the door, head inside. You see a uh, attractive uh, uh, tiefling, blue, uh, at the bar. She looks like she's serving drinks. Um, and uh, yeah, the uh, tavern is uh, about three quarters full. Uh, it's okay. uh, just before midday. 
And uh, yeah, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, uh, so Anton is going to go up to the bartender. Uh, and he's going to say, uh, uh, yes, hello, darling. Uh, my name is Anton. I just got into town. Uh, may I please have, uh, what, what wines do you have on order? Okay, let's see what wines we have on order. He says, uh, uh, yeah, we've got, uh, the Infernal, uh, plate, uh, plate, uh, Pinot Noir. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we got right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have one it's a red glass wine. of that. Uh, oh, bloody wonderful. Yes, I will take one glass of that, please. Okay, she, uh, not, uh, very, uh, uh, she doesn't take much care. L looks like she's just trying to pump out drinks as quick as possible, so she just grabs a glass, fills it up, and, uh, uh, accepts uh, your silver and uh, yeah, she's uh, she moves on pretty quickly. Looks like uh, she's the only one working behind the bar today, so she doesn't really. Unless you try to uh, engage in her further, she's already moved on to the next customer. All right, uh, Anton's about to say something and sees that uh, there's more customers, and he goes, "Oh, oh okay, uh, thank you very much," and he leaves an extra <laughs> silver on the. Uh, the, on the uh, thing on the counter, and uh, he's gonna sip the wine, and he's gonna. Be, ooh, it is not as high quality as he's used to, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, next, oh, let's see who comes in next. So one will be Chris. Two will be. Guess this character. Okay, uh, Jess, uh, your character uh, enters through the front door. Okay, Octavia enters. She kind of hits her head in the door frame and goes out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then ducks and continues forward. How tall is Octavia? She is six foot. Six foot, okay. She's not the tallest, but her crown will eventually catch <laughs> everything. And uh, <laughs> how, how does she look compared to everyone else in there? She's far too pale to have looked like she and with her bright blue eyes it very much stands out but she's got a peculiarity she's got whiskers mm. and one side of her face has a bit of tiger strip Ooh, hell yeah fancy <clears throat> okay so she when uh oh go ahead sorry no you're good she definitely looks like she does not belong uh, when uh, Octavia walks in, she uh, catches a few glimpses uh, from some of the other patrons, uh, giving her uh, uh, a watchful eye, uh, uh, And uh, but no one seems to give her any trouble. She takes a scan of the layout and sits pretty much at the count at the bar because she doesn't see much uh, space where there's a lot of room. Okay. Uh, you take a seat at the bar and uh, Raza approaches. Uh, she uh, looks you up and down and says, uh, uh, My, we don't get much uh, uh, much people looking like you in here. I would... I'll just water for me. Okay. Uh, she uh, uh, takes out a glass, fills it up with water, uh, slides it to you, and uh, she says, let me know if you need anything else, and she uh, continues on. You are seated next to uh, Mark's character, uh, surreptitiously. Surreptitiously, that's the word. What is that? I, uh, I think it means by chance, right? Yeah, by chance. Oh. Yeah. Don't use fancy words. You are seated by Mark's character by chance. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I've had better wine in other places. <laughs> You should try no, to Serendipitously means in a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention, secretively. Oh, my bad. You secretively sit by my character. Secretively. My bad. Uh, darling, if you're trying to be sneaky, I've noticed you this entire time. Well, I am. I do stand out quite a bit. But I wasn't trying to be secret. Though that does look cheap. So 
there's something wrong the, with your. Uh, there's something going on with. Am I the only one hearing something going on with her her mic? Yeah, it goes out a little bit here and yeah, there. Okay, I don't know if there's something changed. Issues. I don't know if it's something you can fix. I see, but just wanted to let you know. Yeah, there might be some connection issues. Um, yes, I'll it sounds the like. Mic closer to my mouth. Okay. okay. Maybe that'll help. Yeah. But I'll uh, close that. Yeah. <laughs> Anton yeah. take. Anton takes another drink of the wine, and you can see him shudder. Like that way you do when you drink something that's not what you were expecting it to taste like. Like, ugh. <clears throat> it's at that moment that the front door swings open, and some smoke comes billowing in. And uh, oh, through the smoke, what uh, again? Chris's character walks in. <laughs> ugh, so many posers. <laughs> oh, I walk up to the bar and uh, try and get uh, the, the barmaid's attention. Uh, uh, yes, young fellow, what can I get for you? Ah, uh, yes, uh, your finest brandy, please. Okay, <laughs> she uh. She sort of laughs to herself, and then uh, she pulls out the same uh, brandy that everyone else gets, and uh, <laughs> pulls it into a pours it into a glass, and uh, slides it over to you. And she says, "Only the best for you." Ah, thank you. I see you are a woman of culture. <laughs> and he acts real snooty about it, like he knows it's the finest thing that he's ever seen. <laughs> he says, he takes, a, uh, "He takes a big old drag out of his cig, and then takes a." <laughs> takes a swig and goes wow that's good stuff <laughs> she laughs and she's like yeah you don't even know and uh pours the Thanks. other hey oh wow how kind of you giving me the the secret stock all these plebes <laughs> don't get to touch you must know culture when you see it <clears throat> oh oh yes yes uh i i haven't seen anyone like you walk in here in a while oh, there's no one like me <clears throat> she's really playing it up uh can you uh, roll? Uh, yeah, no, never mind. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. You're good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you. Uh, she sort of flirts with you a little bit, uh, and uh, then she goes on to continue, you know, refilling glasses for other people. And you uh, secretively have sat next to uh, <laughs> Icy's character. Just mutters under his breath. More posers. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real hipster, uh, if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna arch my brow at this guy and just be like, you're creating a lot of fumes. Move. Are you speaking to me? Who else is smoking at this place? Watch your filthy tongue when you talk to me, <laughs> wench. <laughs> no more filthy than you are, Ashtray. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> people, people, please let us keep a civil tongue among these ravaging I like, folk. I like you. I see you are a fan of art as well. It has its benefits. <sighs> so hard to meet civilized people nowadays. Anyway, I don't recall seeing you uh, two in here before. Are you also new to this area? Uh, yeah, I just, I just kind of blew into town. I was hired on a job to prove my worth. You know, I don't know much about proving my worth, but I was hired onto a job and I do like a bit of money. You seem the type. Well, you know, what uh, my parents always said is if you seem the type, you might as well play into it. Don't want do to undo to anyone's to expectations. What? Do we have to sit next to him? To who? The the smelly fellow? Yes. You can't say you've never <laughs> been around smoke before. I mean, this is a bar. Uh, are, is yeah. anyone else in the bar smoking? Or is there clearly <laughs> a no smoking sign? <clears throat> no, people are smoking. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, it's yes, just uh, the fumes have been prickling other... recently. Yes. Uh, Maybe, other people. Might I suggest awesome. wearing a mask, dear? Gets in the way of the whisker. <laughs> <laughs> I I do see other people smoking, but I I do say, uh, I don't see anyone else giving off 
what seems to be a smoke screen amount of smoke. <laughs> oh, that must be uh, my hood, as you can see. It also kind of makes a little bit of smoke. You get used to it. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> art. It's art. It's art. Ah, yes, I uh, I see. Is it one of your pieces? Oh, obviously, yes. This is my masterpiece. I oh, call what's it fume? Fume. Well, it seems that uh, everyone has uh, pieces with the unique names. He lets out a sigh and pats his uh, rapier, who he's like, oh, thank God, it has not said a word yet. <laughs> <laughs> What, he's just what, watching what, he's just watching okay yeah. cool, cool, cool. was it a noticeable glance or was it like a sneaky little glance uh he was trying to be coy about it okay all right you want to make a perception check chris oh sure sure yeah that sounds fun okay <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can't you, you didn't you didn't catch anything he was coy he was uh, surreptitious about it, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it came back around. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a quick one. <laughs> uh, anyway, my uh, smoky fellow, what brings you here? Are you also? Uh, were you also hired for a job? I was not. I came here to try and sell my art. Where I come from, no one has an eye for beauty. Oh. So I figured I'd come here to the big city, and there must be someone here who has a true eye for for genuine art. Well, as much as I absolutely adore that uh, smoking cloak, uh, Fume, you called it, uh, do you plan to sell anything <clears throat> more subtle? Oh, well, my paintings are all at the inn I'm staying at currently, so... Oh, I can show them to you if you like. Well, which, I am which, always which... in the market to flip some paintings, you know, for a quick profit. Well, Hold on, actually... I wouldn't just go to somebody's home just on first invite. <laughs> uh, I see. I think they are. Uh, I think these are code words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll appraise your art. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Octavio does not understand. <laughs> don't you do? Dude, don't get out of your so hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> got a raging heart right now. <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry. What was that last thing you said? Oh, nothing, nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> uh. You guys are uh, continuing your conversation when uh, the door flies open. And oh uh, they really need to put some sort of speed dampener on that door. It keeps flying open. You, you're not, no, no, you're not totally flashy, sure. <laughs> you're not totally sure, but you feel like the tavern has gotten darker. Maybe some of the candles have gone out. And I can't a, tell. Uh, a, a tall, <laughs> I can tell. Uh, a, <laughs> uh, a tall, uh, figure in flowing robes uh, green robes he walks in a uh, very imposing figure and uh, he walks in he looks uh, to the left and then to the right and uh, he approaches the table to the right there's already people like when he walks in like everyone sort of like pauses they're like whoa like you know what the hell's up with this guy and he walks up to a table and at first uh, one of the guys is like uh yeah can we help you and uh, you can't see exactly like what, what's transpired before them because the figure is facing away from you. But all of a sudden, they like hold up a hand and they're like, "Whoa, whoa yeah, uh, sorry." And uh, they get up and vacate the table, leaving the table to him, and he sits down at it. Okay. Uh, so I guess at this point, uh, do the people vacating the table just come up to the bar? Uh, they move to uh, a another table. They move to another table. Okay. Oh, I wonder what that guy's deal is. Seems to be yeah, some sort of... Uh, the first thing about art. As they <laughs> say in this... As they probably say in this town, uh, the big cheese. I've heard that saying before. Definitely has some power. I bet you he cuts the cheese, too. Uncivilized. Well, I mean, I... Creepy. My... 
My employer did I wouldn't state say a... that in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about you, chums, but uh, my employer did tell me to meet them here. Oh, Perhaps. did you want to start a conversation with that gentleman? Well, Are I you implying that he guy. might be a, your employer? He might be. Hmm. I mean, I mean, it seems a little extra to me, but we can check. Well, well uh, you. did you, you, uh, you miss? Uh, what was your name again? Octavia. Octavia, didn't you say that uh, you uh, you were hired for a job as well? Did they tell you to meet you here? Correct. That is why I'm here. Otherwise, I'd be outside. <laughs> mm, yeah, idiot. I see she has a point. <laughs> what a dumb question. <laughs> God forbid you just stop at a place for a drink. <laughs> Drinking water. I ordered water. I could get that anywhere. <laughs> <I'm an> idiot. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe you want to flirt with the bartender, who knows? Uh, uh, hello, darling. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, Anton, Anton's gonna get up and, uh, uh, approach the fellow who just sat down. Uh, when you approach, uh, you stand before him and, uh, you can't see his face, but you can, like, feel him looking at you. And uh, he says, name. Uh, Anton Conley. It. Uh, okay, uh, yes. Uh, hmm. And uh, Anton's gonna sit down. Okay. Is he gonna indicate that he got the right person? Or... Uh, yeah, he's gonna flash a thumbs up. Octavia well, will walk over. I guess I'll join you. What have I got to lose? Oh, please don't. Uh... <laughs> When Octavia approaches, uh, same thing. You can feel him kind of looking at you, and he says, "Name." Octavia. It. Then she will take her seat. And then he looks at uh, uh, Ume Dark. Is that how I say it? Umi Dark. Umi Dark. Umi Dark says, "Name." Uh, Umi Dark. Umi Dark Shadow Seeker. He sort of pauses a bit. And he says, that. Uh, ah! I knew you were a man of culture. <clears throat> I definitely didn't think otherwise five minutes ago. <laughs> when you guys sit down, uh, he sort of sits there for a bit. Um, now that you're a little bit closer, you can sort of make out a face, um, but you can't, it, it, it's still like very shadowed. Um, but you can tell that there's a, a human underneath there. Yes, he's hooded. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he doesn't do anything after you guys sit down. He just sits there. Um, you don't know whether he's waiting for you to act or if he's waiting for more people. Uh, Anton's going to look around. Uh, well, uh, were we expecting anyone else or is it just us three? And, uh, might you be interested in any fine art, sir? Uh, you guys maybe ask him a couple things, but he doesn't respond to you at all. He just sits there. Hmm. Rude. Okay. Uh, hmm. Anyway, uh... So about those whiskers, were you born with those? No, I ate something funny and this happened. Oh, what did you eat? Uh, it looked like a rabbit. It had tiger stripes on it. <laughs> oh, uh, is it some sort of were-rabbit? That sounds crazy. <laughs> oh, sure. I, I'm the crazy Idiot. one, yes. I will... <laughs> How do you correlate the two in your mind? I'm curious. I'm sorry, were you asking me how I correlate a uh, no, lycanthrope? Not, not you, sir. Her. Correlate? <laughs> it means relate to one another. Keep up, darling. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't Thanks. speak your language. This is new to me. <laughs> oh, is common your second language? Yes. What's your first uh, language? 
So you aren't yep. civilized then. Clearly. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. Buddy. <laughs> you got to cool it. <laughs> <laughs> Leonin is my first language. I travel through a forest, and usually it's very normal. Normal rabbits. At one point, there was no longer normal rabbits. I ate one, and then this happened. I don't. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds like art in its purest form. All right. What's he on about? I have no idea. Honestly, I think, I think, and I'm just whispering to, uh, Icy's character, to, uh, Octavia. Octavia. I just go, honestly, I think he just says anything's art just to, you know, get some sort of attention. <laughs> I'm going to look at this stranger and be like, <laughs> so when is this mission starting and what is it? Okay, it seems like part of the mission is figuring out what the mission is. Uh, hmm. Hmm, a puzzle. Uh, riddles maybe we need even? to. Maybe it's the lowest one of those form of art. Where we prove our worth by uh, making him smile or something. <laughs> uh, quick, uh, Octavia, tell a joke. I have none. This is not my specialty. Uh, you, uh, weird, smoky one, tell a joke. My name is Umi Dark, sir. That's not funny. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he, he looks like shocked. He's like, oh, <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> I'm over here going, uh, I don't think names was meant to be funny. <laughs> oh, that's your real name. Oh, you thought I was kidding, sir. <laughs> I mean, it seemed a little on the nose. Umi Doc, you're shrouded in smoke. Yes. My last name is Shadow Seeker. Is there a problem? With oh, it? Of course it is. I mean, of course, what else would it be? Maybe it's artistic. Maybe. It is. Yeah. My name is Pure Art. And uh, at that point, Anton uh, nudges Octavia and goes, See? See what I mean? <laughs> just everything he says is art. I think he's just going for attention. Yeah. No, I agree. I, I completely agree. And I'm going to um, scooch myself a little away from the dark. <laughs> uh, it's at that point, uh, finally, the uh, hooded figure in front of you. He uh, moves. He uh, takes down his hood. Uh, you can see that it's a uh, uh, sort of a upper <laughs> middle-aged uh, uh, man. He... Uh, looks at each of you, and uh, then he says, uh, we might as well begin. There were others that were supposed to come, but it appears they're not. My name is Morden Naxxramus. I work for Conrad Kamiya. Have each of you ever heard of him? I've uh, been no. in the town for a, a week or two, and I've heard whispers of Conrad Kamiya. It seems he uh, fancies himself running the place. Yeah, I'm with the lady. I I don't know who the gent is. Well, He's uh, got a fa an artsy sounding name, <laughs> though. He is uh, a man in Syridan who can be a great friend to people like yourselves. And is he uh, is he a connoisseur of art and the finer things in life? Of the finest things. Oh, I think, I think me and Comrade Kamiya might just get along too well. <laughs> I love the constant changing <laughs> accent. <laughs> <We're>... <laughs> I'll I'll let you in on a little secret. He's from a little uh, little farm town. That has nothing like no nothing in art, and there was only one other person there who was good at art, and they were better than him. <laughs> and that is his whole competition his whole life and he thinks he's fancy he does nothing about it <laughs> I think he's copying uh, Morden says uh, <clears throat> we are in need of uh, adventurers like yourself and we would like to take this opportunity to give you a test see if you can complete it 
And if so, there may be great riches ahead of you. Just what I came to this town for. Well, if there's money on the line, I can sure line my pockets. There was a shipment that was supposed to come in a few days ago, and the ship never made it. We'd like you to investigate this, and if possible, recover the shipment. He pulls out a, a piece of paper, <clears throat> he opens it up, and uh, he says uh, the ship uh, would have been, uh, the ship was called uh, the Nocturnal, and it would have been carrying a chest that had this symbol on it. And he shows you a, uh, a piece of paper that has uh, a symbol of like a, a blazoned uh, shield on it with, uh, uh, with uh, a sun and a moon on it. <clears throat> he says, uh, find out what happened to this ship and if possible, recover the shipment. If so, you'll each be rewarded with 200 gold and further opportunities. Seems... That seems straightforward enough. Uh, where was this shipment last seen? Mm, good question. <clears throat> uh, it would have been uh, in a uh, little town called uh, Botten. Uh, that's where it... Uh, shipped out from, and it was supposed to arrive here in Siridan, uh, over in the docks. It, uh, was lost somewhere in between. Well, hopefully it wasn't lost over the wa water, but, uh, yes, I think we can, uh, take this job, old, old chaps, uh, fellas. This does not seem in. too hard at all, as long as the gold is good. I am good to take the job. Anything for cash, I say. If you are able to find out what happened and recover the chest, uh, you can enter into the city and uh, tell, uh, tell the uh, Wardens of Peace and Order that uh, you have business with Morden Nox Ramus. Morden Nax Rhymus. All right. Well, I guess, fellas, we should get a nice meal in and then be on our way. Can you say that? He stands up very abruptly and, like, sort of, like, air, like, sort of flows away from him. Like, it's like... I don't know how he did that. And, uh, he, uh, everyone is sort of, like, looking at him and he, uh, just walks stoically out the door. Uh, barkeep, is everyone in this town that extra, or is it just some people? Uh, she, uh, yells back at you and says, uh, uh, that was extra? Uh, that's the least of it. And, uh, the tavern sort of laughs. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get used to this. Whew. So we have a start. In a direction, shall we head out, or would you like your meal? Uh, I'd like to order a cheese platter, please, before <laughs> I hit the road. Are you telling that to uh, all the way over there, Octavia? <laughs> or uh, I walk up to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Uh, one cheese platter, please. <clears throat> she says, uh, "Yeah, uh, come right up. Anything else?" Uh, and another one of those wines, please. She, uh, pours you the bottle, uh, heads into the back. You can hear her cutting up some cheese. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> and, you did uh, this! <laughs> she reappears with, uh, the cheese platter. Uh, she, uh, takes your silver, and, uh, yeah, she, uh, moves on to, uh, <laughs> the other patrons. Oh, stop it! <laughs> All right, uh, Anton's gonna take his cheese and he's gonna force the wine down. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's gonna eat his cheese. Uh, would anyone else like something? I'm not buying, but I'm just 
<laughs> suggesting you get something. Octavia will pat your back lightly and be like, seems the wine is growing on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> no, I know. You were complaining about it earlier. It just seems you're still drinking it. It's all they had. Did you ask? Yes, I did. Yeah. Well, good luck then. Continues drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if uh, you have, uh, if you guys uh, finished up there, uh, nobody else wants to do anything before you head out? I'm good, yeah. Okay. How would you guys like Are to proceed? Sure? All right, I guess we uh, should head to, you said Bolton? Uh, the city was named Botton. Botton. But it was set to um, uh, arrive in the docks here. Okay. Right. Well, I guess uh, we maybe we should check docks. by the docks. Yeah, Before going to Botton or the docks, I want to get a map. Ooh, that's Ooh, not a bad idea. That is a fantastic idea, Octavia. Well, this we are foreigners. This is why you are in charge. Well, when it comes to this sort of thing. Yes, yes. Yes. And so on the map, I'm going to have both of you help me read it and dictate where Botan is and where the ports are here and then locate the and go. Okay. Sounds like a splendid idea. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, head over to the docks uh, where uh, it is uh, quite... Uh, simple for you to uh, acquire uh, a map um, just to see, you know, the surrounding area. Let me just uh, move you over to world map just so I can give you guys a sense of like where everything is. Okay, so uh, Siridin, obviously here. Oh shit! Whoops. Mm -hmm. I still went back to Siridin. Okay. There it is. World map. Okay, so yeah, Siridin's there. Uh, Botan is just uh, located along the coast up here. So they would travel along the coast to get to Siridin. Yeah, we definitely want to check the coast of Siridin. All right. Well, if we need to check the coast of Siridin, uh, then we will check the coast of Syrian. Is that... We can walk the you would just like to go ahead and leave, or would you like to talk in the docks at all with anyone? Um, uh, we, we might as well ask around to see if anyone from that shipment has uh, survived, or if anyone has heard whispers of what happened to the shipment. Uh, or maybe... at least a description of a ship that they may have seen. Uh, yes. Uh, let us check with the dockmaster. Uh, you uh, head over to the docks. You can see a uh, rather large uh, bearded man. Looks like he's giving people uh, orders. Uh, you know, loading up ships and stuff. Hey, put that barrel down. Ah. Burr. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Okay. Uh, excuse me, fine fellow. Uh, my name is Anton Conley, and these are my companions. And we were... Uh, looking for a shipment that was due to come in here a couple days ago, and it never arrived. And he's going to show... I'm assuming we were given a picture of the crest with the uh, shield. Yeah, that would have just been for the, uh, the particular, like, one of, like, the cargo on it. So I'm not... Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he takes okay. a look at it, and he's like, uh, what, uh, that's that's Kamiya's crest. What is What is that? Uh, yes, uh, Kamiya was, uh, Conrad Kamiya was expecting a shipment and it never arrived. It was coming from, uh, uh, Barton. And ah, Barton, uh, huh? Yes. That's, uh, we've had a couple ships, uh, that was supposed to get here from Barton never showed up. Uh, yes, do you have any idea, uh, when they were last... Uh, contacted. We were told that the last time they were heard from was at Botten, and then they were lost uh, soon after. <clears throat> yeah, we've, uh, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Uh, it's, it seems to be only shipments from Botten. Um, 
you know, we've had a guy that uh, he showed up uh, a couple days ago. Uh, he claimed that uh, he was a crew on uh, uh, what was oh, he was on the crew? Well, he was on uh, uh, the mainstay. Yeah, he was on a, a ship called the mainstay that was heading over from Botten. Um, he's, he's speaking all kinds of stuff. All kind of stuff. Uh, Where just, is he staying? Uh, oh, he's in the Celestial Whale right over there, and he points over to the tavern. The Celestial Whale, you say? Before we go and talk to him, have you guys seen any silhouettes of boats that have never reached the coast? Uh, I mean, there's always rumors about stuff like that, but, you know, not not related to... I mean, no, I, I can't say I've seen anything like that. You know, the sailors, they, 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 uh, they gossip. You know, they the big giant you know dragons and you know hell the guy over there that's named named his tavern out of the celestial whale said a big ass whale came out of the sky ate his ship so and you, you always hear you know stuff like that this though this just seems like missing ships you know one they leave from Botan and then they just don't show up other than that guy over there said he was uh on one of those ships interesting well case uh hmm. let's see we should uh go talk to this gentleman uh what was his name did you say oh i don't know his name but i mean i'm sure you'll find him is he a man of culture a man of art <laughs> uh he looks no, at you and then he's... he farts really loud and he laughs <sighs> he said he he was a he was he wrote on the mainstay that's how we'll find him Come now, gents. Let's get away from this future demand. All right. He goes back uh, to... He's like, hey, pick that barrel up now. <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Put that barrel down. <laughs> you know, I'm just sure he's a working man, not someone of lacking culture. <laughs> How do I make this my... I think... You just said a oxymoron there. How can a working man be a man? Of Why course? would I call someone a moron? That's mean. I no, darling. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just take my thing that I took from something else? <laughs> would you like me to say a different word? Yes, please. <laughs> no, sweetie. That's not better. <laughs> That's actually worse. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's highly demeaning. Next time you say that, I will punch you in the face. He's gonna keep saying it. <laughs> he's scared. He's really scared. <laughs> but he's trying not to show it. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we should go to the Celestial Whale. Uh, what was the name of the ship that he was on? The Mainstay. The Mainstay. Okay. Oh. Uh, so we will go to the Celestial Whale. Sounds like a ship full of posers. Well, if the <laughs> Celestial Whale ate a ship. You keep that saying that word, poser. What does that mean? That someone who's a poser, duh. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Isn't that part of the art? Being a poser? One cannot be an artist and a poser at the same time. Yes, but you need one for the other. That's how you make statues. <laughs> oh, you sweet child. I'll let that slide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get into this inn. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, does anyone look like they've been traumatized? <laughs> in... <laughs> what a question. Uh, you uh, walk in the bar, and you can see a bunch of... Uh, uh, a bunch of... Uh, uh, you know, looks like dock workers and stuff. Looks like they're drinking around, having a good, you know, they're having a good time. And, okay. uh, <clears throat> can you, everybody roll a perception for me? Yeah, I can roll sure. perception. Indubitably. doesn't mean I'll do well, but I'll do it. Perception, you say? We're perceiving. Yeah, seven, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Six. Oh, well. We're quite perceptive. <laughs> 
No, Ooh, you guys all walk in. You just see, uh, you know, dock workers. Uh, was anyone oh. on a lost ship recently? Uh, do you? <laughs> so you just yell that out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you just sort of hear like some people. They like look at you and start laughing. I believe it was called the Wayward or something along those lines. It was the mainstay. The mainstay. Thank you, darling. Yes, the mainstay. <laughs> the mainstay. Uh, don't say that in front of me anymore. Oh, it, was that the ship you were on? Uh, I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, you don't have to think about it. The after scrawny little man every... sitting in the corner. After... Looks like he's nursing a beer. Uh, let me let me uh, let me refill you up on that. Uh, one uh, beer, please, uh, barmaid. Uh, the uh, bartender. Uh, it's a uh, elf, uh, female named Sario. Um, she oh, hello, uh, darling. walks over and uh, she sort of gives you a look and uh, pours him another beer and then walks away. Now about this. Uh, uh, mainstay, <laughs> wayward. <clears throat> but I've heard it both ways. Um, uh, <laughs> could you? I mean, I know you don't want to think about it at all, but could you? Yeah, we've been uh, hired on a little job to find some of the missing shipments, and it would be oh so helpful if you would, uh, you know, uh, tell us what happened. Oh, if you knew what was good for you, you'd turn around and go home and hug your baby tight and never leave. Well, bully for us, we do not know what it is good for us. We just want money. Now, please. Yes. <laughs> he, my friend has a point here. Oh, well, hold on. I would not go so far as to say friends, companions is good enough. Fair enough. Uh, excuse my uh, my pardon. It all started in Barton. Oh, Loaded up the ship. Shut up. <laughs> just another day. Me and crew, my buddies, we loaded the ship and we th we, we had we had gold in our eyes. We thought this was a big score. We had a was it you had gold inside of your eyes? Shut up! You're being artistic. We had a. Oh yes, I've, I we see. We had an I important see. shipment, and we thought this is our big score. We're gonna sail over to Siridin. I'll be able to make enough money for my baby. But we set sail, and everything was going good, and then all of a sudden, it was like I was in a dream. I felt like I was floating away. It felt so good. Hmm. I was just... My mind was like a symphony. Well, and that then sounds mighty artful. The next thing I know, I wake up and... Oh my god, the agony. Uh, everything, the ship was destroyed. My, my crewmates, they were all torn to pieces. It was, it was a nightmare. I don't know how I lived, but I'm cursed with the knowledge and the memory of what I saw. He downs yeah, his beer. Like hmm. <clears throat> so, to recap, sounds like he was charmed by something, perhaps a siren song, even. I'm just uh, gonna excuse go ahead me, and it push was that extra beer was perception. Yes. Uh, was anyone on your ship happen to be of elven ancestry, or was it mostly humans? What'd you say, Icy? Oh, that I was just going to push the extra beer that uh, Anton bought closer to the sailor. He uh, picks it up, starts drinking it. Thanks, thanks, miss. You're, you're mighty nice. Uh, no, we, it's, it's all, it was all humans. It was all humans working that ship. 
Well, that would explain why everyone was charmed so easily. Us uh, elves and half-elves have a little bit of resistance towards sort of thing. Um, I bet I think we should keep our wits about us, fellas. Uh, do you know where you started to feel odd? Uh, we, we, had, we had made it, uh, I'd, I'd say about halfway. And, uh, then, then everything's, like I said, I felt like I was floating on the air. And then a nightmare. He drinks another gulp. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like such a thing is, uh, happening in about the halfway point. I think if we are dealing with something uh, a la sirens, we should bring some wax to keep in our ears if something were to happen. It's well, a little very, story I read in a book once. Very wise of you. Oh, it was terrible. The faces. Oh, their eyes were looking at me. They were dead, but they were still looking at me. and It was like I could hear them. They were saying... Why? Why did you live, not me? <coughs> and I looked at wow. them and was like, I don't know. <laughs> wow, that, is, that is dreadfully artistic, sir. Sir, clearly, do you have a child? Uh, I see. Can you say that again? You cut out. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, we we didn't hear what you said. Oh, that he has a kid, and he's clearly, you know, someone who has to continue to live for this child to raise them right. I, I can't face, I can't face my woman. I told her that. Oh, nonsense! I'm sure she's just happy that you're alive. No, she, she thinks I'm a failure. I'm supposed to come here, make money, so that we can live. I can't. <laughs> I lost it all. Art, art comes in many forms, sir. It's not all pretty. What the hell is this guy talking about? Uh, honestly, you can just ignore him. He's a little... Uh, and he does the thing where he loops his finger around his ear like he's crazy. I do I see him do that? Say... <laughs> I'm not hiding it. <laughs> he just I think what he's you. trying to say is that you can continue to make money in other ways. That is why you are alive. Imagine if you didn't come back, then you'd give nothing. And it would be for nothing. Can you make a persuasion check, please? I'm not good at those. Okay. <laughs> well, you're trying. You're doing your best. <laughs> Flash your genie. Oh, no, I don't have that. <laughs> Thank God. Ooh. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. Ooh. <laughs> I can. Bad. I, I can. I just make him feel bad. I can feel the disgust coming dripping off your words my my girl's like you she she's she's so good but she i disappoint her i, sh I should have died on that beach why didn't i die i'm sorry uh okay uh hmm yes uh hmm ah so he's weak Oh, no wonder he he's so sad. Look at him. He's just a, a sad sack. Look at him. Are you You're not looking, look. Are you are you saying this in front of him? No. <laughs> he, he he leaned back a little bit and just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. He could probably hear me. Yeah. Uh what am I gonna do? <laughs> Uh, he, he, you're going Just, to, uh... You need to embrace the art, sir. All of life <laughs> is art. All right, uh, let's calm down there. <laughs> all right, all right. You're going to take a menial job here. You're going to get your ass to work. And when you have enough money to show for it, you go back in that house. Okay, can you roll intimidation? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay. So uh, Octavia sort of gets sick of his uh, his woe is me uh, 
Pity uh, party? Yeah, and she slams her fist on the table, and uh, he uh, implores him to, uh, you know, sort of get his life together, you know, take one step in front of the other, be a man, and uh, his uh, his word, her words sort of uh, resonate with him. He's like, he's like, ah, there must be a reason why I lived. My, my baby needs me, needs me to, needs me to be a man. Needs, needs me to step up. You're right, beautiful lady. I need to, I need to be there for my family. He, uh, stands up and, uh, goes to walk away, but then he stops, turns around. He finishes his beer. Puts it down. I got, I got my whole life in front of me. I can't let this keep me down. And he goes to leave. All right. Uh, hmm. Can't help but noticing he didn't mention my words of encouragement. <laughs> but I know he took mine deeply. If I, my words moved him so much he couldn't even respond. I think it's just because I made the table go boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, let's uh, stop by uh, a general store and see if we can't get a couple handfuls of wax to prepare oh. ourselves. Indubitably. Okay. Uh, I see. Go ahead and give yourself uh, inspiration. Yay! For your words of encouragement. And uh, yeah, you guys head out. And uh, what store would you like to go to? Uh, let's see. We, I'm assuming we can only be in the outskirts of Sierraden currently. I mean, none of you have been inside the city yet, so. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, are there any general stores just on the outskirts? Uh, you have heard of a uh, little old store called Bronze Bell's Payload. Oh, let us check out this, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, he goes up to one of the guards. Oh, uh, yes? Uh, where can we find a store called Bronze Bell's Payload? Oh, that's, uh, over, uh, East Gion, the, uh, by the East Gate, uh, just, the uh, out, gate? yeah, just outside so the old gate? East Gate there near the, uh, Velvet Ghoul. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna you. turn over the map and be like, there it is. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't ask, is there some sort of cart system that can take us to the east gate? He sort of, like, does a double take, like, seeing if you're fucking with him. And, uh, he sort of... I'll take that as a no. He sort of restrains himself. He's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will walk, I guess. Would you like to be carried? <laughs> hmm. I may take you up on that. Better not awaken anything in me. Sounds... <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like something you'd rather not do. <laughs> walk. No. No, I will be strong today and I will walk. Yes. Today my art is walking. What is up with this guy? I don't know, but I'm going to be watching his walk. Just see how funny it is. <laughs> He's trying to have the most, the most strutful artistic walk of all time. But Speaking. he really just looks like Vince McMahon walking. Yeah, he seems like a heavy walker. Am I the only one that doesn't know how Vince McMahon walks? Uh, just imagine uh, a ridiculous person. Oh, I, I know. I think I know what gif you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Dandy chat. Dandy chat. Yeah. It's a white haired guy. Yeah. When you Vince first McMahon said, struck. I thought I thought you were talking about the other Vince. What's his name? The comedian? Vince Vaughn? Vince Vaughn, yeah. The, when you wow. said Vince McMahon, that's who I was thinking of. So that's what I was like, well, how does he walk? Like, what? <laughs> but yeah, Vince McMahon. Okay. Yeah, I put a gif in the D&D &D chat. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you guys uh, head on over to uh, East Keon, uh by the uh, uh, Sunset Gate. And... Uh, we made uh, it. Yeah. You, uh, let's go ahead and move the hour head. Okay. So, uh, you enter in the front door, and he's like, uh, Oh, hi! Uh, uh, welcome, welcome! What can I get for you? 
Uh, yes, uh, we were hoping that we could get uh, a handful of uh, malleable wax, please. We fear we might be going against some sort of uh, siren, and we just need something to plug our ears with. Ah, yes, wax, yes, that's uh, that's a funny little trick uh, that uh, I've, uh, you know, heard about. Uh, now, uh, you do know this won't make you uh, 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 totally immune to uh, whatever uh, charm that uh, will be done to you. It will help, but... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, so... Uh, it's yes. good to have a precaution. <clears throat> so I happen to have some of these specially made. Uh, let me uh, go in the back here, and he, he uh, sort of fumbles through a couple different desks, and uh, he's, like, throwing stuff over his shoulder. Then he uh, finds a little box, uh, brings it back up to you, and says, uh, Ah, yes, here it is. Uh, yes, I can uh, sell these for uh, silver apiece. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, I have silver. And how many are there? Three? Four? Three? Uh, well, I, can, I sell them by the pair, so... By the pairs. Okay, yes. Uh, I will take three pairs, please. Yes, and he pulls out three pairs. Uh, that's it down. Uh, yes, three silver, please. And he passes over three silver. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything uh, else I can get you? Perhaps uh, some... Ye oh, yes? Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, do you happen to have uh, any vials and uh, maybe any syringes for extracting blood? Excuse me? Uh, well, yes, I do, actually. Uh, oh, uh, lovely. Yes, uh, let me uh, get and, some uh, while, back While here. you're at it, do you have anything uh, like a canteen, a large canteen I can hold water in? Uh, uh, yes, of course I do. Yes. Uh, me... Those two items would be lovely, sir. Or three items, I mean. Canteen and a uh, uh, box of uh, vials here. Yes, and a couple syringes. Uh, uh, I can get that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just make it two gold. You got it, sir. Okay. Uh, as uh, as whatever his name is is asking for <laughs> vials and Umidark? syringes for blood. <laughs> Uma Dark, that's it. Uh, Anton's going to turn around and uh, he's going to start whispering to himself <laughs> and he's just going to say, forewarned. What the hells did you get us into with these people? Uh, I, I don't know, but that 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 guy, he, he gives me the heebie-jeebies. Listen, I took this job because you suggested that it would be a good way to make money. You didn't say I'd be working with a psychopath. <laughs> I mean, you are a psychopath, so I didn't think that would be That's... a problem. Listen here, I am not a psychopath. I am just a man who picked up the wrong sword on the side of the road. With, uh, I mean, if you didn't pick me up, you'd be, uh, you'd be nothing. So I don't know what sort of point you're trying to make with that. Like, all right, for one, we're not having this discussion right now. I will continue with this with you later. Could could we hear this conversation? Was that an obvious conversation? You can hear my side of it. Yeah, okay. it appears that he's talking to himself. I, I, I lean over to um, Octavia. Uh, Octavia, and I'm like, what? What's he going on about over there? I thought you guys thought I was the crazy one. <laughs> you know, at this point, I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm glad to be working with both of you. This will be a fun group indeed. <laughs> the adventures will be memorable. I just hope you both live. <laughs> <laughs> I have high hopes. Okay. So what are you what do you do with the blood? What? Oh, I'm glad you ask. Well, I use it for my art, you see. Oh. Uh, whose right. blood do you plan on using for your art? Well, anyone that should cross me. Sometimes I, uh, you know, just take a little prick from a drunk guy at a bar. I'll never know. Oh, you, you know, but oh, like you know, I was just it. kidding around before with the whole psychopath thing, right? <laughs> Oh, I know a man of culture of yourself, kids, in a high manner. It's okay. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, remind me next time we're at a bar that I owe you a drink, of course. Oh, lovely. I, I prefer the highest of brandies. Uh, yes, yes. I, I <laughs> noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing less. I think it's like a real snooty nose to the air. <laughs> 
But yes, I, I infused the blood with my paint, and it, it really, it's the truest, pure form of art I see. I like how you have an accent when talking to Anton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, 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 kind of, he kind of like, um... Is he a mimic? Is he a mimic that... Uh, he he, he kind of like... A literal mimic, but... No, yeah, he kind of just like tries to be, you know, he wants to be liked by everyone, so he'll play to whatever he thinks suits best. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> People that he sees that of of uh, people he would worthy of talking to, I should say. Everyone okay, else, okay, he, okay, he okay. is a uh, snooty asshole to towards. All right. Well, uh, d does anyone else need anything, or can we bid Mister Bronzebell adieu? I believe I have all the supplies I need. What about you, Octavia? What might a cat of your a cat cat kind of yours need? I grew up with Leonins, not a cat. Well, ah, yes, yeah, excuse me. I, 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 I was being broad. Okay, I'd like three healing potions if you have any. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I uh, actually don't have healing potions. You gotta head over to the uh, seventh, uh, 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 the seventh uh, portal for that. Big. Seventh portal. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. <clears throat> Uh, just as uh, at that moment, uh, the door opens and uh, you see uh, a very large figure walk in. Uh, <laughs> it appears to be some sort of uh, uh, turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you are a big fella. I've never seen one of those traveling. Why, yes. What uh, is this thing? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to meet hello. you. Um, you, you. Just excuse me here. I'm just gonna. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Bronze Bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, Lorik. Uh, how's it going? Uh, oh, it's it's good. I uh, I just was hoping that I could put in an order for some special feed for uh, the Sentinels over there. If, uh, if you could have it delivered to Torque. Uh, yes, I can do that for you. Let me uh, let me go back and get my uh, my my uh, pamphlet here. We can put it in order for you. And uh, he goes and walks away into the back to get uh, his ledger. And Lorik sort of starts whistling to himself. Well, it seems like a chipper old fellow. Hmm, did he say sentinels? That sounds very artsy. <laughs> I've heard rumors of those fellows. Oh, go on. I have not heard. Just that they've done some heroic things for towns that no longer exist. Uh, sounds uh, like sounds a bunch like... of posers. <laughs> <laughs> you, of course, you would say that. Uh, anyway, uh, I think we should take our leave. Aye. Yeah, to the seventh uh, portal. portal. Uh, yes, to the seventh portal. It's not like we need to get on with our investigation because the sooner we finish, the sooner we get paid. But yes, we can stop by the seventh portal. I just think that if you're injured, there's no way that I can guarantee that you'll live. <laughs> Is that a good point? Uh, that does seem like a good point, yes. Valid. Okay. I do like living. You guys... It's the only uh, thing I enjoy more than art. Head over to the uh, east gate, and uh, when you approach the gate, you're stopped by uh, one of the guards, and uh, he says... Uh, uh, state your business here. Purchasing. Hmm, which store are you headed to? The Reeves paper, 7th Portal. Uh, okay. And, uh, what are your names? Octavia. Octavia? And, uh, yes, he points towards, uh, uh, Chris's character. Uh, uh my name is Umi Dark. You've probably heard of me. I'm a, a world-renowned artist. O O M E D A R K. Okay. No, no. And uh, you? Uh, Anton Conley. Loser. Okay. I'm and, sorry, what's uh, How long do you expect to be Not inside you. the walls? Oh, probably, uh, what do you think? Uh, an hour, maybe an hour and an a half? An artistic amount of time. Okay. Uh, uh, Umadark. Umadark. <laughs> well, 
he, uh, cool it. he uh, fills well, out some papers and uh, hands uh, hands you guys uh, a pamphlet. Uh, looks like uh, uh, looks like it's uh, sort of an official order. Whoa, says whoa, uh, whoa. you've granted uh, you've been granted one hour uh, inside uh, Siridan's walls. If you are not uh, still inside the walls uh, uh, after the expiration, uh, you will be fined. That seems a bit harsh. Oh, them's the rules, buddy. What if the store takes longer than, you know, an hour to get our order together? Well, you're the one that told me an hour. So. Well, you're quite rude, sir, but all right. Now, an now, hour will now. be enough. All right, all right. We have plenty of time. Uh, well, let's, let's get a move on before this unrefined, uncultured man comes looking for us. Uh, wait, before that, uh, what direction is the seventh portal? Uh, he, uh, gives you instructions, uh, it's, you know, just, uh, you go ahead and set the gate, and about, uh, uh, you know, it's about a hundred feet, uh, to the left, you, you can't miss it, as long as you're looking for it. While you guys go to the store, I'm gonna go feed my pet's dinner real quick, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Take a stroll all over to the store. You make your way over to, uh... Uh, the seventh portal, and as you uh, walk in, the, the bell rings, and you hear, Ah, yes, hello, I am Batumo Reanastamea. Welcome to my shop, the seventh portal. How can I help you? Not to be rude, but is there anything smaller we can call you? Uh, you can call me Patumo. Okay, Patumo, I am looking for uh, healing potions. Mm, yes, healing potions. Uh, yes, I have uh, plenty of these here. Yeah, I, I like? look at the price. I'm looking at the price tag, and I'm going, I can't afford this. <laughs> oh. I, I was looking for three. Is there any way that I can give you some back pay? That's typically not how these things work. How much gold do you have? I see. I, uh, Ten. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that everyone started off with maybe like 100 gold. 100 gold? Okay. Yeah, you're level six. I know you guys already have a magic item, but Here, I'll do you guys aren't rich, gold. but you at least have 100 gold. Then I will use all of my 100 to buy two. Yes, I can do that for you. Um, um uh, I'll, I'll also buy one. Uh, so I will use uh, 50 gold to buy one. Okay. Except you should be able to do it uh, inside the... Uh... I think it took oh, it away shit. from Vex credit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you yeah. did. Okay, never mind. Don't do the automatic thing. Go ahead and add 100 gold back to yourself. And I'll just yeah, and add I'll just put zero on my other character. Also, Doug, real quick, uh, forewarn is going to be my packed weapon. Uh, if you could for me be a pal and change the since I'm a hexblade warlock, it uses my uh my charisma modifier as the attack and not dexterity. One second. Okay. There we go. Just whatever you get. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Because I was Two. looking to see if there was a way for me to change it myself, but I don't think there is. Okay. Uh, Octavia should have. Two. Yes. Go. What did I miss anything? Uh, give yourself a hundred gold. Oh, sweet. Uh, should I take two away from the two I spent before? Sure. Yes. And uh, Chris. Gold. Or... Yes. Oh no. Uh, Anton, you should have healing. Potion of healing. Okay, cool. And then I will... Oh, you already did it. Cool. Uh, uh, can I retroactively also buy one potion of healing? Yes. Okay. Potion How much is it? of healing. It is 50 gold. 50, so I will subtract that. Oh, maybe it, if I do this... All right. Gracias. Edit item. Wait, where did you do it at? Me? Yeah. I always keep track of it in D&D uh, &D Beyond, but I'll put it 
in the I don't know where the money is in here. So let me look. Is it in inventory? Okay. Have you not been keeping track of your gold in D and D Beyond in the regular campaign? In D and D Beyond or in, in, the in D D Beyond? Yeah. I've or been sorry, both. no, in Forge and Forge. I do both. You do? Okay, good. Okay. But I I just always make sure I have it in D okay. Beyond okay. first because it's my reference. Okay. In case I forget in the the regular, if that makes sense. Yes. Okay, uh, yes, uh, you guys should be very healthy. Uh, anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, that should do it. That'll be all. Well, then, uh, good luck in your adventures. Thank you, Pagatumo. What was that your name? A uh, Patumo Reanastamea. Thank Patumo. you, uh, Patumo. Uh, we will be taking our leave. Okay, you guys uh, head out of uh, the uh, seventh portal, and uh, would you guys like to go ahead and uh, leave Siridan then? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and leave Siridan. Okay. Uh, so uh, you uh, travel west uh, out out of Siridan, uh, and uh... oh shit! One second. Oh yeah, it's sun. Whoops. I accidentally said sunset gate earlier. Sunrise gate. Uh, wow. wow. Really so you uh, travel west. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you have a, a rough uh, understanding of you know where you need to go. Do you guys? Uh, you can take the time now to discuss uh, maybe your plan of action, what you're going to do when you get there. Okay. So. When we get there, I think we should uh, pack this wax into our ears. It will give us a little bit of an advantage. I mean, since... Uh, uh, are you also a half-elf, uh, Chris? I am, I am a half-elf, yes. So I can't since be put to sleep or that I have advantage against being charmed. Now, when you say get there, though, do you mean that we're going to go into the town with wax in our ears? Well, when we get to the halfway point where he said that everything Where the rumors of everyone down. disappearing is... Yes. Okay, so again, this is in the coast near the ocean. Should we get a, a boat of some uh, sort? We should see if we can't get some sort of boat. Yes. It's not a, not a bad idea. Can we get a fancy boat? Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, let's crab, see. How much know. gold do we have? I have 49 <laughs> gold. I don't think we'll be able to afford anything too fancy, unfortunately. Well, Unless uh, we, one of us has a silver tongue. Maybe we'll be able to uh, bard and, uh, barter ourselves. Well, maybe uh, I can use my renowned art fame to get us a fancy boat. You know what? Maybe let me do the talking. <laughs> All right. Now this halfway point is it going to take days, hours. What are we expecting? Uh, let me look at the map. Hmm. I have no idea. You'd think it'd be about a day's uh, journey. I think it'll be about three days or a half day. Who knows? Could be anything. Well, that Could sounds you... like quite the adventure. Okay. I'm not a sailor. What can I say? No, I'm just saying if we're going to camp out in the halfway point, I'm going to stand guard first, and you two should do it together. Oh, I don't think we, we need should do what now? <laughs> Go look at art together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need a guard, and you stay away from me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever camped? Uh, yes, I do. And unfortunately, uh, I don't get as much sleep as I would like to get. <laughs> Not bad. Well, all right. Yeah, uh, uh that's as far into that as I would like to get at this moment. Uh, yes. I didn't push further. Uh, good. Because I wasn't going to dig any deeper into it. Because we don't need it's, to. It sounds like you want to. Oh, yeah, okay, you've gotten it out of me. <laughs> uh, you see, I have this uh, blade, which is 
peculiar, I should say, uh, named Forewarn, and it has a magical property that it warns me of any danger. Unfortunately, sometimes it likes to do more talking than just warning me of danger. You have a talking sword? <sighs> yes, sometimes he talks and he will not shut up. That sounds very artful. Very I'm gonna artistic. Grin. I feel like, yeah, very artistic. <laughs> Does he's, it, like, he's purposely does, not talking right now, just be, to make it, you look crazy. Does it cry out in 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 uh, in joy when it touches the blood of an enemy? I just want no, you to know we're well, walking and talking. That. Okay. Yeah, we are walking and talking towards uh, the port. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get a boat? Yeah, why not? Hey, put that barrel well, down. Are we going to be... These <laughs> 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 oh, guys move a lot of barrels. Okay, now your turn. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the same barrel. It's the same barrel. this barrel? They're actually not loading a ship. They're just decorating. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, uh, I, think it, I don't think it looks good. Put it over there. there. No, no, Actually, I agree with you. You should move it a little to the left. Right there. Yeah, you heard her. Move it to the left a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's one guy's job to pick it up, and then he has to <laughs> hand it off to somebody else whose job it is to put it back down. <laughs> Here, take this. Uh, uh, hello, uh, Doc Master. Yes, um, we are looking to procure a vessel. Yes, the finest one you have, please. Uh, no, the most elegant it. one. That let me do the talking, please. Uh, fine. I don't oh, think we need a Dandelion ship, but all right. I wouldn't be caught dead in anything drab as a, a little, a little boat, a little uh, canoe. How about this? With our little canoe, you can decorate it. Oh, lovely! I have. The... No blood, please. <sighs> All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, no yes, uh, we are looking to buy a small vessel that will help us get along the coast uh, to uh, Botan. Uh, okay, how much gold you got? Uh, that, yeah, uh, hold on, hold that thought. Uh, how much gold do we have? I, what, I have How much 40... gold are we going to say we have? Oh, I have 10 gold. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yes we have 30 gold. <laughs> he looks at you and he laughs. <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, Hey, you, pick that barrel up. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any ships? Uh, that or uh, vessels that look ready to go. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, there's there's uh, there's a couple ships here. Yeah. All right. Uh, they're, they're pretty Anton... large ships, though. Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, what are you thinking? Please we're, tell we're me what you steal you're that ship. <laughs> <sighs> All right, follow my lead. Oh, okay. follow my lead. Yes, sir. Hey, but uh, yes. Down. <laughs> uh, here is uh, he. Okay, uh, Anton is. Oh man, I. Oh, man, I'm conflicted because I know there are consequences in this game, but I want to do something so badly. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Uh, Anton's going to collect ten gold from both of you and add it to his 10 gold. And he's going to go up to the Dockmaster and uh, he's going to say, here's 30 gold and you will sell us that ship. And he's going to cast Suggestion. Okay, can you read Suggestion to me? Ooh, I almost chose Suggestion. I'm glad you have it. Uh, yes, uh, Suggestion. Uh, hold on, it just closed for some reason. Oh, I have to select a target, okay. Here, roll. There we go. Uh, cast spell. Okay. 
uh, suggestion. Oh my god, stop going away. Okay, uh, you suggest a course of activity limited to a sentence or two and magically influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Uh, creatures that cannot be charmed are immune to this effect. The suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable, which is why I'm paying him. Uh, asking a creature to stab itself, throw itself onto a spear, immolate itself, or do other obviously harmful acts ends the spell. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it pursues the course of action you describe to the best of its ability. Uh, the suggested course of action can continue for the entire duration. If the suggested activity can be completed in a shorter time, the spell ends uh, when the subject finishes what it's asked to do. Okay. You can also specify conditions that will trigger the special activity during the duration, but that is irrelevant currently. Okay, I'm going to roll his uh, wisdom. What's the save, DC? Uh, 15. Okay. Let's go. Okay. He uh, looks at you and uh, looks at the gold and looks at the ship. Says, uh, one second. I just want to double check something. Okay. <laughs> I don't like the fact that Doug needs to double check something. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I love how three people are gonna man a big old ship. <laughs> I okay. pointed I pointed to one that looks like three people could man. <laughs> and so by three people I mean one person. <laughs> Octavia. Just <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm holding that rope. Okay, I uh, before we continue, I just want to clarify something. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the spell continues until it completes the suggested activity. So after he sells it to you, the spell will end immediately, right? Well, if he's selling it to me, he's already we already got the paperwork together. And technically, him selling it to us wouldn't end until giving him the money isn't the end of a sale if we haven't required gotten our end of the deal that's not the end of a sale then. but what i'm saying is, right. is once the spell ends he knows that he was suggested right yes that's why <laughs> uh not that uh, the documentation is going to be there hold on, let me look now let me but look it'll be it'll be three against one and if they try and hold us in court like sir he he willingly sold it to us for 30 uh, gold, right? <laughs> it does not say that they know that a okay. spell was cast on them and it was reasonable at the time. And it mm. was reasonable because I did pay for it. We're just such ren renowned art. I wouldn't people. go that far. <laughs> I also wouldn't know that you did the spell. And art. as a lawful good person, I'd probably kick their ass for going back out. Uh, I'm just reading something. Okay. Doug, let us have fun. <laughs> well, no, I want to let you do it. I just, I need to guard myself against future uses of this spell. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I have, yeah, I, you got to make sure it like, doesn't get I don't want you being able to walk into a I shop bet, and no, be no, like, no, hey, I, sell I, me I, that 10,000 gold item for, you know, 20 gold. No, no, no. You know? I think this okay. guy, prob but my, my reasoning is that this guy probably isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. I would and also it probably, go with it probably would not work on a competent sharp shopkeeper yeah i was gonna say i would go to assume that most shopkeepers especially the civilized ones would have somewhat of a means to have someone aware of casting suggestion on them like they would know that's a spell it was also visual and movement it's so vocal. Like, vocal, vocal vocal my bad which oh, although i'm assuming the movement? vocal the vocal component is probably just the words that came out of my mouth yeah, yeah that's what i'm saying like it's not yeah. sneaky yeah. Yeah. Whereas I think a shopkeeper would have like defenses against that, or at least be a, more aware of it being. They'd probably have yeah, guards like, around listening for. Ex that, the that's what. Yeah. That's what I'm suggesting. Like, like another set of eyes. That's like, oh, this person's trying to pull one over. Whereas this guy's just a dock guy. 
Yeah. Okay. In the yeah. interest of moving things along, uh, uh, it works. Okay. And also, Sweet. we needed a ship. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh. I, I reserve the right to uh, look into this That's more in the future. Perfectly uh, fine. Also, I am okay with that. I, I'm not opposed to it. Either. I'm just going to say that for the time being, you know that once you complete the sale, you need to get out of there as quick as possible. So, yes, that okay. makes sense. That makes That's sense. also that is also understandable, and I will accept it. Okay, so uh, he uh, looks at you, looks at the gold, and says, uh, "Hey, take that barrel off that ship." We uh, <laughs> we 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 got we got other places to move that barrel, and uh, he uh, goes uh, into the ship. He uh, uh, comes out with uh, the deed and uh, uh, hands it to you, and uh, he takes your gold, and he says, uh, uh, "Well, bon bon voyage." Uh, hey, okay, I man. told you, I told you to pick up that barrel. <laughs> and so, Anton very uh, it scoots as close to the ship as he can as he signs the deed <laughs> and uh, he also signs the receipt that goes back to the shop puts it on the floor and he goes alright let's go 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 yes, all right, all right. Have, a, have a wonderfully artistic day sir and... shut <laughs> up get on the ship and let's go <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll untie the rope get it going get it going Octavia uh, gets the uh, ship ready to go. Um, have any of you had any experience sailing? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a far traveler, I've traveled in different, many um, different ways. I, I don't have like expertise, yeah. but definitely had some experience. Yeah, you've, I am, you've seen seen some stuff. I was in a I was in a, in a, in a guild merchant, guild artisan. Okay. So I don't know if that involved traveling on a ship at any point. Sure, I mean you probably got the basics. So yeah. you've heard people move, move barrels. Yeah, <laughs> it's. Yeah. Uh... I'll, I'll work on this barrel. You get that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, excuse me. I'm going to uh, see to my quarters, seeing as uh, I will be right back. Uh, I think he's gonna go play with this sword or something. <laughs> Mark, was Is that, that, a, was was that a real to? life thing or was that in character? Like, that was in character. Okay, I didn't know if you were like leaving and you were just doing that. In <laughs> okay, no. okay. As soon as I get the sails uh, to to, you know, fully set, um, everything is easy. I just tell uh, Umi Dark to hold the wheel that turns. <laughs> oh, all right, I can do that. Do, can I? Can I uh, add some artistic flair to our boat a little later? Yes, absolutely. Oh, no shit. Blood. No blood. <laughs> of course, of course not. His fingers are crossed. Uh, what are you guys going to name your ship? You guys oh, got to name uh, your ship. I, hmm. ooh, ooh, I like the name, the Blood Cruiser. No, no, no it blood. It is his deed. He gets to decide. Oh, all right. You, you did pull it off. Uh, it was yes, very artistic yes. of you to do that, by the way. Pull what off? Hmm. Uh, the sail. I I bargained with the uh with the the portman. The sail uh, still stuck to the boat. You didn't take it off. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I kid. I kid. We should call it the density. I was gonna call it the blade of the waves. Blade I like that. I like that too. That's very artsy. The way it cuts through the waves, the water. Ooh, wow. What about just the That's blade? Beautiful metaphor. Ooh, the blade. Ooh, I like that as well. Short, sweet, to the point. It implies murder and blood and well agony. <laughs> uh, okay, you know things weird. Um, you you're in charge of putting that on the side of the boat. You know that, right? Yes, it's gonna okay. be beautiful. It's going to be just, fantastic. You do know how to use wood carving tools, correct? I am an artist. I know all forms of art. Okay. Uh, yes. Then, uh, yes, we will call it the blade. Okay. Okay. You guys set sail in uh, your new ship, the blade. You uh, travel up the coast and uh, 
Uh, you know, everything seems to be uh, going pretty smoothly. Let's yeah. go ahead and look. I'm using my elf uh, eyes, and I'm standing once, looking at the shore, seeing, looking for anything. Yeah, once everything in- is all set and most of the ship is pretty much on its way, uh, Anton's going to take a short rest using an hour. Okay. I mean, we're going to have a night. Well, just in case. He's okay, also okay. a warlock. And I'm a warlock. Back. I get my spell slots back at a short rest. No, you're right, you're right. I have no idea what that is, but you're right. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was pretty good back there. Yes, yes. I am maze even myself. <laughs> I now, knew. Please. I'm trying to take a nap. Now. I want to talk. Oh, <laughs> what do you possibly want to talk about? I don't know, like what are you feeling? I don't know. We're going to get paid. We're making 200 gold from this job, and I just bought an entire ship for 30 gold. You could buy, like, 20 more ships. I mean, if if I play my cards right, or what we could do is when we are done with this job, we could even sell this ship. This ship's easily worth 500 gold, if not more. Yeah, but, I mean, why would you want to get rid of your ship? Oh, I didn't say I did, but just in case we need the money, just in case, you know, things go wrong again like last time, and we need to make a quick exit. I mean, I kind of like being at sea. This is pretty cool. Yes, 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 of course you would. You've been traveling all over the world, while mainly I stick to land. Oh, what, uh, what are you doing? I'm meditating. Okay, I'm napping. Why do you want to know? Well, I just thought we could, you know, talk and have fun. What do you even do for fun? You're a sword. I mean, you don't have to say it like that. <laughs> <sighs> okay, fine. Listen. If I'm bothering you, like, I guess this is probably what the rest of them feel like talking to you. What do you even mean by that? What I mean, is that supposed to mean? Don't, don't you see the way they look at you? What are you talking about? They see me as their leader. Every time you turn your back, they're like snickering at you. I don't recall them snickering at me. What are you doing? Just, you know, looking out for you, like, all these other people, they, like, you know, hate you, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, watch out for you, because, you know, we're friends. Listen, I know you, hold on, hold on now, I found you, I used you, and now I am bound to you, I cannot get rid of you, and trust me, I've tried, and you say that we're friends? I mean, yeah? That's what friends are, right? <laughs> we, we, we stay together no matter what. Uh, I'm, always, I cannot I'm always there for you. You are constantly waking me up at the most inopportune times. You're supposed to only go off when there's danger, yet it seems to me danger is whenever you're bored. Hey, 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 are you raising your voice at all for us to maybe hear, Mark? Uh, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just be, like, outside going, that is the wrong shade of room to use. And then we hear you're shouting. <laughs> I, I look at Octavia, is he talking to himself again? <laughs> um, well, he did say he had to, what was it, sharpen his sword? <laughs> I guess that's what he calls it, but I think he just needed a, a alone time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, he did say he needed a nap. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever... You know, let's not pry into his business. That's that's his time. Yeah. Uh, okay. We've got to respect the captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's up for us. Uh, forewarn, what will it take for you to give me just 20 minutes of peace? I mean, if you really want peace, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just looking out for you. Like, okay, whatever. Like, Whenever you get like this, you want something. What is it? I just want what's best for you, buddy. 
I will take your advice into consideration, Forewarn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let you sleep now. Thank you. I'll be thinking and, uh, about you, though, buddy. I know you will. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. Thank you, Forewarn. Thank you. Yeah. Yo, uh, I, it weirds me out when you use my name. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Mark, go ahead and give yourself an inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like he finally quit talking to himself, Octavia. Oh, he finally went to sleep. That's great. He must have finished. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm just going to change the topic. <laughs> polishing his sword. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I mean. Don't have to add. <laughs> don't. <laughs> you don't need to say if you know what I mean. It's implied. Yeah, well, no, I know. don't. We're going to continue painting. He's not very subtle. <laughs> Are we almost there? Uh... Well, uh, okay. are you, uh, how engrossed into your painting are you? Uh, He's selling the blade, but it, he he. Uh, yeah, so his, I. His I'm doing a looks a, like an art. <laughs> I pulled out so my form of art. I uh, I casted uh, shape water on my little vial of water that I have, or my jar of water, whatever my flask. I mean, excuse me. And I've formed it into an ice chisel, and I've just been chiseling with a chisel made of ice. So just imagine how that goes. Okay. <laughs> must be really humid. <laughs> uh, who's on the deck of the ship right now? Currently me. Okay. I, uh, Anton is below deck uh, in his quarters. I'm, uh, I guess, leaning over. Or, like, I got a rope on. on you just in case. <laughs> Can I get a perception check from uh, Octavia? <laughs> I'm much better here, folks. Okay. Uh, you guys uh, continue sailing for a bit. And if everyone could make... Where's it at? Wait, what? Yeah. Where'd they go? They died. Huh. That was pretty cool. Oh, duh. My bad. I'm dumb. Can't wait to run into people to to murder and kill. I mean, what? Only if we have reason to. Okay, everybody make a uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, Is those this of you being charmed? Those of you who are half, yeah, uh, elves or half elves, you get advantage. All right. Uh, you All right. said wisdom? Yep. Wisdom saving Save. throw. Oops. Wisdom. Oh, wait, no, I, did, I didn't do saving. Advantage. Well, I did check. Whoopsies. I'm a doofus. I think mine's just a check, too. There we go. Oh, I found the saving throws. What? Red. Yep. I thought it was going to give me a thingy. I forgot it changed. Go ahead and re-roll Octavia. Okay. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, your saving is... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll allow it then. If it was different, I would make you re-roll. No. It, it's the same, so... Uh, all of you begin to hear, uh, music, uh, and maybe some type of song, but, uh, you are unaffected by it currently. Okay. Uh, uh, Anton wakes up and, uh, immediately reaches for the wax. I hear, I hear music. Everyone wax up. Uh, oh, all right. All right. And he, uh, puts wax in his ears. Now, uh, with I the wax. Copy, I will copy. Now, with the wax in your ears, 
uh, just mechanically, just to let you all know. Uh, you aren't deaf, but uh, it is harder to hear, so it will be harder for you to communicate verbally with each other. Uh, Octavia, you will now have advantage against the uh, saving throw in the future. There is no double advantage, so mechanically, there is no difference, but, you know, you guys are still taking your precautions, so, for the other yep. people. So. You can't have Sorry. double advantage, so... Fine by me. And you're not um, and you're not deaf, so you're still hearing, you know, the, the music is magical and you know it's loud, so Yeah. Uh Doug, would you say that uh maybe half elves get a uh uh it the DC goes down by just one? No. Maybe? Okay. I had to try. Nah. That's fine. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> hey, shoot or shoot, baby. Okay, That's so right. would you guys like to approach me the boat, or would you like to uh, uh, maybe dock the boat and approach my foot? All right, I think we should dock the boat, since I'm not the best at fighting on ships, and uh, we wouldn't want anything to destroy this thing. I mean, look at it. It's worth so much money. Yes. Uh, so so let's... Have you seen what I've done to it? Okay, uh, you yeah, guys uh, are whispering to each other with uh, wax in your ears. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I'm amazing. Uh, uh, Anton's going to look at the paint job. on. Uh, where, wait, where did you paint it on the ship? Uh, it's carved on Oh, the, it's carved? Yeah, it's carved on the, I guess, on the port. No, no, on the the starboard side. On right the now. starboard side? Okay. Uh, let's dock the ship! Got it. <laughs> what? I said let's dock the ship! What about a cockpit? I'm already tossing the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I see Octavia throw it over. <laughs> I get the picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, as we're disembarking uh, the ship, Anton's going to look at the paint job. How good is the paint job or the carved job of the blade on the ship? How good is it? It's it's the best there ever was. It looks like chiller font. <laughs> he added like blood drops to it. So there's little carved in blood drops. The like... one thing that <laughs> Anton said no to is blood. <laughs> It just looks like shit. Don't worry. He's just thinking about it. Looks like shit. <laughs> it's amazing. I know. Oh, I thought you were going to say, yes, it is a ship. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a better response. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. <clears throat> so, uh, uh... with, yeah, with that, I'm going to, I'm going to get Ubi Dark and then hop off the boat. <laughs> I just follow. Okay. Yeah. Right, you guys you uh, hop off <laughs> and uh, you continue uh, traveling up the coast. Uh, you've uh, been hearing uh, the same song uh, faintly through your uh, earplugs, um, but it, you know you can tell it's the same song that's been playing. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you uh, continue up the coast and uh, you enter. You can see uh, there's a little cove there. And uh, you can see a broken up ship. You guys in? Oh, there's a broken up ship? We're passing? It is a ship. Ooh. Okay, can you guys see? Uh, not nope. yet. I am. Oh, here oh, it goes. It's oh, loading. Oh, oh. Yes, I can see. Oh, it's so cute. I mean, dark. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Doug, real quick, uh, since Forewarn is my packed weapon, it is my improved packed weapon, it should be using my spell casting modifier as my attack. Can I go ahead and change it to be uh, using my charisma modifier? Uh, because that's what it should be using. Uh, yes. Okay. I think I have to change it from a melee attack to a spell attack. No, no, no. I can do that. No? One second. Okay. I'll, I'll change it. Thank you. 
Yeah, because it should be a plus eight because I believe it's also a plus one sword. Uh, no, I don't have a sword. Packed weapon. Charisma. Uh, I don't have a sword that does it, but I have danger sense. So what I'm... other modifiers? Do you get any other special modifiers for being a uh, packed weapon? Uh, it should be a plus one as well, and I can use it. Plus and it one. is my arcane focus. Acro bonus one. Plus one plus. Okay, I think that should automate it. Perfect. Thank you, Doug. Oh wait, I can do it this way. Let me change the magic one. Okay. One. Okay. Hopefully that works. If that Perfect. does not work, let me know. It looks like it says plus eight to attack, which is correct. Um, question. Yes. Um, with the pack of the beast, I'm supposed to have three alternate attacks, bite, claws, or tail. Um, I don't see them. Would that activate when I hit, uh, rage? It should when you do the rage, yeah. Okay. I have not tested, uh, this new rage, so uh, we we'll may have to play it by ear, but we'll see. All right. Um... Okay, so uh, uh, you uh, guys. Oh, what? Maybe like. Uh, mm. Oh, look! There's a little. There's a little tent over there. Uh, is there actually a tent with a fire going? Or is that what we set up? Uh, there is, it looks like a tent there with a fire, but uh, you don't see anyone there. We don't see anyone there. Uh, hmm. Well, there is a ship. Uh, do we see any name placards on the side of the ship? Uh, no. No? Okay. Well, there's a ship. Actually, it looks like there's uh, more than one half of a ship. Uh, anyway, uh, let us check out this camp real quick, shall we? Indubitably. I would advise that you stay behind me. So, okay. Yes, of course. And I'm going to not so cautiously walk up to the tent. Okay, one second. I'm trying to see if I have any. Beach music. Oh, it's a this beach one? episode? <laughs> Finally! Yeah, here we go. This but he's a pirate on repeat. Okay. So you have uh, travel over to the tent, and uh, <clears throat> can you uh, make a uh, hmm, make a perception check? I'm starting to think tigers are blind. <laughs> uh, you just see a tent and a fire. I mean, it just looks like, you know, you don't really see anything stands out to you. I pull out my trident and uh, use it to hold open the tent flap to see inside. Okay, you open up the uh, tent flap and there is no one inside. Uh, I'm going to turn back to Anton and the Umi and say, I think it's clear. At least what? here. Uh, I'll you give want a, a beer? <laughs> I'll give a hand sign for no threat. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Why don't you just say so? <laughs> Shrug. All right. Let's say we check out that ship. You have to take a shit. I said, let's check out the ship. And he's going to point in the direction of the ship. Ah, uh, you guys hear the music stop. Uh-oh. Ah, hmm. uh, you then hear a new song start up. Uh, everyone make a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Wisdom saving throw. What am I 
a wisdom go down. Wow! Right. It's time for me to kick y'all's asses. Just. Okay. Uh. Go ahead, uh, everyone roll advantage, or sorry, roll, uh, initiative. Okay. Roll initiative. It's impressive to see a plus one instead of a plus negative one. Oh, I have advantage on initiative rolls because of my sword. Yes, you do. Yeah. Where is initiative? It's, uh, under your picture. Fifteen. Oh, yep, there it is. Fifteen as well. Twin. Okay. Harpy, 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 harpy. Combat. Let's see. Action. That's not good. <clears throat> Don't like that. <laughs> Hate that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Taste my blade. Hey, there's some harpies over there. And eh, we're just gonna do the regular combat. I know. Did you see them? I can see them. Thank you. Okay, one is going to fly over here. And yep, yeah, that's that's turn. Or actually, it's going to fly. Oh, whoops. Uh, it looks like I did the wrong one. Whoops, who was the previous turn? That one, okay. It's gonna fly over here. Okay. <clears throat> Umi Dark. Magic missile. <laughs> nice. That's a bingo. That's a bingo. We just say bingo. What was I supposed to do? Three different rolls. I always forget how it works. Did I fuck uh, that up? You should be able to just click it in there. Hmm. I think I fucked it up. I think it, I okay, hold on. Let me. Uh... Let me do something. I think it here. gave me a box to write type three. I haven't had a magic missile in, in this. One second. Seven. Damn, you just did a max damage magic missile, though. I did. I, I'm gonna. Do we just cast it again and do two? And not do. Um... I think I, I can think fix the, it. You only roll one damage roll, and then uh, all magic missiles hit that damage roll. Is that how it works? So it's, yeah. Okay. Uh, and how, what'd you roll? A five. Roll a five. And which one damage. did you attack? This one. Okay, so it takes 15 damage. 
And then, um... Where's the range on this? Hold on. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, then... I am going to use two sorcery points, cast quicken to use quicken spell, and cast uh, fire bolt on the same army. Okay. Uh, target it. Uh, and as I cast it, I'm gonna say, "Your music sucks." A little insult. <laughs> Yike! Damn! Uh, that's okay. Okay, Anton. All right, Anton's gonna run up here. He's gonna whoop, uh, go up to here. Yeah, thirty feet. <clears throat> and he's gonna target this uh, fellow right there target this guy and uh he swings for warn and as he swings it uh two eldritch blasts shoot out from the sword Ooh. Very artistic. hell yeah that's badass all right so this is the first one the first beam i should say which misses and then he does a second beam at the same one hits and normal damage. And it takes two damage. Okay. <laughs> ha ha! Ha! I, I, I give you like an air five. Like you do good, great job. Oh, you don't add your charisma to it? No, I switched out Agonizing Blast. Okay. Oh yeah, you told me that. Yeah. Is that the only thing you added to it? Controversial. That's the only... El is there only one Eldritch... Uh, or what's it called? I can't remember what this is. Uh, the invocation. Oh, you got Thirsting Blade. Yeah. Okay. I have three invocations. Thirsting Blade, which allows me to make two attacks. Impact weapon. Uh, okay, okay. Devil's Sight and uh, Improved. Okay. Uh, Devil's Weapon. Uh, improved Impact Weapon. All right. And uh, let me look at my bonus action. Sorry, new character. Who dis? That's okay. <laughs> oh, uh... I will use my bonus action to... What is this? It would help if it would load. Uh, we're going to bonus action cast Hex on uh, the fella. So let me target that guy. Oh, I should clarify just to let you all know it's this one that is currently singing oh that one yeah oh shoot okay well that, i guess that wouldn't change anything from what i was doing just because it's a little far uh so let me go to here spells Cast. okay so i am now concentrating on Oh, and it has disadvantage on Drain saving. Oh no, uh, wisdom. It has disadvantage on wisdom abilities. Why not? Okay, and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, this harpy, you can see that there's sort of like a nest here, and a harpy that is much larger than all the other ones uh, flies oh, no. out. Oh, fuck. Oh, bother. And lands here. Oh, there it is. Octavia, you are under the uh, effects of the harpy song, so you must oh, move no. directly towards this harpy. Go ahead and move. I go directly towards it? Yep. So, like, right there? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, bless her. Look at her. She's going to go melee with the hoppies. <laughs> um, I'm also going to take the time to... I'm doing this willingly, right? 
you were under control of the the spell, if that's what you're asking. Right. So I'm going as far as I can. Is that correct? Yeah. You would you would use your action to move. Yeah. Okay. Because I also want to use the uh, bestial soul jump to jump onto here, and that's it. Uh. Moving into. Just seeing if it says that you can't, don't take any other actions. So, I know that you're doing a like a, a moving towards it, but I just want to. Yeah, to confirm. Uh, it doesn't say anything about not using abilities. So yeah, if you wanna, if you think that'll get you there quicker, you know. Yeah, I'll just. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have to move it for me though, cause it collided. Okay, and at the end of the turn, your turn, you may make another Wisdom saving throw. Yes, sir. Come on. With man. advantage. Okay, you break free of the spell. Okay. This harpy uh, continues singing. This one will fly over to here. Whee! This one is going to fly to here. Boomy dark. Alrighty. Um, is this one not visible to me? Or this one I was attacking before now? It's behind the boat, I assume. Uh, yeah, it's like sort of how because you're so close to the boat, it's kind of hard for you to see it. So, so if I were to, can I see it now? Can you? Probably one more. It, it looks visible, but I'll do okay. one more. There you go. That looks good. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to. Um... cover thing back. Oh no. One zoom in dark to it. Oh my god. Burn you dirty ass birds. <laughs> what did oh. you cast? Good. Fireball. Woo! That is very close. My whiskers! <laughs> Get a little singe on the uh, whiskers. The harpies uh, let out a scream. My um, art burns with passion. Massive damage. Uh, and then I'm also going to quicken spell. Um, this one over here. I think you can sneak you up on me. Click and spell firebolt. Oh, I gotta click on here. Show me the other spells. There we go. And. Target him. Okay. Nice. And that is my turn. Anton. Okay. Uh, can I see? Can I s still see this one? This harpy? I mean, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then I'm going to hit that one with an Eldritch Blast. Blast. All right. Uh, attack roll. Normal. Seventeen hits. Normal. And. Ten, and then uh, I should also take uh, okay, and I'm gonna use the second blast as well as move my hex onto here using my bonus action. Uh, since mm -hmm. died. Uh, uh, spell slot and concentration. 
no. Cass. The hex moves on to him. Uh. Uh, wisdom checks again. Um, God damn. And I'm uh, gonna hit him with the second beam. Blur! Incredible. Uh, Blur! Dirty 20 hits. Uh, so just for the future, you would have had to fire both blasts. You couldn't, like, have done. Oh, right, 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 okay. right. Yep. Okay. I will keep that in mind. For the future. Okay, that one dies. Hell yeah. It lets out I'll a... Get... And falls over dead. I look at Anton and I give him another air five. Uh, Anton ignores it. Ooh. Yes, then, uh, yes, Anton's good, my child, right yes. To here. <laughs> Shut up, forward. <forward. laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. Oops. Oh. Oopsie, doopsie. Okay. This one is uh, going to start singing. So everybody, uh, wisdom save with advantage. Hey, Umi, Dark, and Octavia, you are under control of the, uh, you fall under the spell of the, uh, a large uh, harpy over here, and uh, yeah, uh, this one is uh, going to fly up in the air. So it's about uh, ten feet in the air. Okay. Next harpy going to fly down. And attack Boomy Dark. Can I react with a shield or is that not allowed to come under the spell? You cannot react yet. Okay, then I will not click the button. Okay, you take six damage. However, uh, I think so. Oh wait, you don't get another chance when you're hit? No, it's only at the end of your turn. Okay. Oh no, whenever it takes damage from a source other than the Harpy, yeah, and that's not the Harpy, you can repeat the saving throw, so go ahead. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh boy! I can't. Damn. <laughs> Uh, it is gonna swing again, though. Swing a club at you. Does that mean I get a? If it hits, I get another attempt. Yep. Well. Oh, it crit. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lucky, lucky. I just now looked at the damage. I didn't realize what it was doing. Okay. That bonk over the head, though, uh, set you free from the. Uh, so, uh, the harpy song. Octavia. Oh, you, uh, you call this art? <laughs> you are still I'm under... going to... As still uh, under the spell, I'm going to go ahead and hop over here and that'll end my turn. Just, oh, I can't. But what? Right there. Do your wisdom saving throw. Uh, yeah. You still yeah. have movement, so you are down into the water now. Well, I, I could go over here if I think about it, but I, I guess so. No, you go directly towards it. Okay, splash. Uh, you're splash, you're splash. in about uh, that, just under waist high water, so it is difficult terrain. All right. Um, end my turn, and that's wisdom saving. Yep. Come on, that baby. Ooh, baby. Hey! Hey! Oh. <laughs> okay, hi, Beck. <laughs> 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 okay, She's this like harpy stranger in, uh, is going to fly down here up. and attempt to hit Octavia. Misses. Ooh. Sorry, the water got it. 
And misses. Boom, me, Dark. Oh, boom, Dark. Right. You're um, done. I'm going to. First, if I can see it, cast Misty Step. And. Go. Um, why is it blocked? I wanted to go up on the ship. Uh, it's a collision. Yeah, I'll, pro right I'll probably. There. Thank you. And then, um, after that, uh, uh, I... can you just click somewhere that way you can like finish the spell? It's not even letting me. Oh, okay. It's saying everything <laughs> is blocked. There we go. Range. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then, um, since that was my bonus action, uh, this guy that I was looking at, Firebolt. Your turn? That is my turn, yes, sorry. Okay. Get him, buddy. Come on. Right. Get him. <sighs> For one, you better hope you're warmed up. And then he's gonna move up here. Whoop. He's going to target this guy. His hex is gonna move over uh using his bonus action to uh this guy. So he's gonna use his bonus action first. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's roll. Do not consume spell slot. Do not break concentration. Cast spell. Wisdom, why not? And uh, I'm going to take a swing with Forewarn. Attack. Normal. Nice. Normal damage. And he dies. Uh, and uh, normally I would get a second attack swing with Forewarn, but since nobody is in range, uh, da -da -da, I will measure this out real quick. Whoops. Whoops, is this guy. Okay. Yep, I will go ahead and end my turn. Okay. Uh, this harpy is going to fly down. Just above uh, Octavia and attack her. No. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gonna attack again. <laughs> you don't get, uh, because this is the one that is singing, you don't get to roll on the did save. You already uh, break free? I already broke free. When did you break free? Earlier, um, well, the other harpy remember? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, so it doesn't matter anyway. Unless you had a reaction, I'm sorry. I don't have reaction. No, okay. And uh, it misses the second one. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, bonus action. Rage. 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 And then I, that will come with a form of the beast. And if you predicted um, where tiger, you are correct. Oh hell yeah! Hell. Form of the beast. Oh, you're a fucking where tiger? Mm-hmm. Holy shit! So what? What does everyone else see? Um. I, so the stripes can. <laughs> They don't see much because I'm in the water. <laughs> the stripes continue to go across over the arms, and um, so does white fur and claws. Oh hell just yeah! Just start dripping out. Um, My vision box, and when I first like, I'm not gonna see the transition. I'm gonna come around and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those uh, bright blue eyes it's just get more like tiger-like. Hell yeah! And the whiskers start to make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I'm going to, uh, 
pull out my javelin of lightning and uh, recklessly attack this harpy because she's yeah. in proximity. So let me go ahead and grab this. Javelin of This map is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I like it's so map. cool. Yeah. My only problem with it is that I am not good in water, so it's hard for <laughs> me to get around. Yes, I also have to pee really bad, so it's making me have to pee more seeing flowing water. <laughs> Do you want to go pee real quick, bro? <laughs> and, uh, I'll survive. We're almost so that's, done. Wait. That's a no. I like how you're using a javelin of lightning in water. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, look at that damage. Oh my god. We love it when the plan comes together. And I believe I have a secondary attack that comes with the... No, that's right. Don't you have... Wait. Uh, do I attack twice? Barbarians yeah. not have multi-attack? That comes later, I think. Are no sure? way, what? It I'm should be at level five. Sure. Level five, let's see, multi-attack. Would that be in features? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on, what? This nope. seems wrong. Really? Oh, extra attack. There it is. Yep. Wait, Found it's called it. extra attack? Yeah, not multi, just extra. Uh, and that is attack, manage, and then not with the lightning. Oh, it's the lightning one. Yeah. There you did go. Did you hit yourself? Uh, did I? Uh, well. Yeah, it looks like you targeted yourself. Oh, you did. Well, it was, uh, nine damage. Nine damage. I'll add nine back six. <laughs> okay. Oopsie. My... Okay. Uh, that is your turn. Yes. Uh, this harpy is going to attack you with advantage. Ha ha! Misses. Uh, perhaps uh, thrown man. off by uh, the fierce uh, image that he has in front of him. Or it has in front of him. For those of you who can't see, you heard a large tiger's roar. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Dude, that harpy is terrified, bro. <laughs> Boomy dark. All right, uh, I don't think it'll let me go there, but can you put me like right here, Dougie? Beautiful. Now I can see them. Um. All right. Beautiful. I'm going to. Uh, can you give me a uh, an athletics check, please, to yes. jump onto those rocks? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I literally had a He's DC five in my dude. mind. Okay, you fall into the water. All right. <laughs> well, I'm down there. It's uh, about up to your waist, uh, and it is difficult terrain. All right. That's <laughs> the fine. DC was five. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's just. That's so one. funny. Um. All right. Well, regardless, I'm going to. I can still see it. Uh, let me hit the select. There we go. And magic. Missile at level deuce. Yeah, you're taking a shit. Yep. What? Okay. I don't know. It did it. No, okay. It didn't do the same thing as last time. Yeah, I switched it. Ah, oh, okay. Beautiful. And then, um, might as well use my last two sorcery points. Bing bang. Another quicken spell. Firebolt on the same feller. Two, one for three. That's a shame. Anton. I got a plus eight. 
All right, uh, Anton's going to use his bonus action to move his hex onto the big guy. Okay. Oh, cancel. It would help if I would target Are these Harpies dudes? No. Uh... Right. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the uh, big one is it. The other ones are various uh, harpies. The Strength. big one is uh, is a female harpy. I'm just saying, there's some chesticles on that bird. Yeah. Eldritch Blaze. Attack. Normal. She does have some thick thighs too. Normal damage. And then he's gonna have the second uh, Eldritch Blast Bolt go towards that same heart. I'm gonna have to fix Eldritch Blast to have sound in the future. Okay. All right. Uh, so the first time it took five damage, and then the second time it took 14 damage. Woo! Hell yeah. And uh, that is Anton's turn. Uh, this harper, this uh, harpy uh, screeches. Uh, you can tell it's uh, sort of, uh, it can feel like death around it. And uh, it tries to fly away. Actually, first it, it's, it's going to attack. With advantage. Okay. okay. Definitely hit. And again. Damn, you got a fuckload of health. Yeah, barbarians. Dude, these characters are dope as fuck. And, uh, um, it... wait, is it taking away nine fully? Because it should no, be no, half it's, damage. It's taking four. It's doing the okay. four, yeah. Uh, it tries to I... fly away so you get an attack of opportunity. Yes, can you leave it there so that I can actually attack it? Okay, um, I will target and then I will attack of opportunity with them club. And that will also still be with Reckless. Oh nope. my god, thank goodness. Oh shit! Um, claws are supposed to be twice for every attack, I think. Uh, I don't know. Think Do you again? That? What was it? I think uh, claws, they're used twice per attack. Or something like that. Uh, let's see. Details... So, claws. Where is that? Form of the beast claws. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it now. We'll figure it out later. Go ahead and roll it again. Okay. Let's fucking go! Okay, uh, it tries to fly away, but uh, as it uh, does so, uh, Octavia lashes out uh, with her claws and uh, rips its feathers uh, out uh, of its wings, and it uh, plummets into the uh, into the water. To the earth. <clears throat> uh, there is one harpy left. Hey. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Octavia. Okay, my turn. Um, if this tech uh, lands, I'm just gonna say that Octavia used her um, form of the beast bestial soul to jump up and claw into the other one. Okay. Uh, yes. Attack. Advantage. Ah, no. man, I'd hate to see it. Want to use your uh, extra attack? Do you want to use your uh, inspiration? 
Uh, oh, I can. Can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah re-roll that. Use yeah. your inspiration re-roll. for anything. Yeah. Okay. Re-roll for inspiration. And I will take off the info. It's... There we go! Okay. And then comes the extra. Okay. And again. Okay, more damage. Uh, Octavia had uh, grabbed onto the back of the harpy that was trying to fly away, drug it back into the water, and uh, when it landed in the water, she leaps out of the water towards the other harpy and begins uh, clawing at that one. Rage in her eyes. This harpy is... Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, go ahead and roll an intimidation, uh, Icy. All right. Uh, let's see. Intimidation, normal. There we go. Okay. Uh, this harpy uh, sees what just happened to uh, its leader and uh, uh, sees Octavia... <laughs> jump out of the water towards it seeking its uh, 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 sinking its claws into its uh, uh, skin and uh, it is too afraid uh, and it turns its back to her to try and uh, uh, run away from her uh, get not attack of opportunity uh, can you move back so I can do that I'm sorry there we go and That's going to be in features. That. Do I roll the other one? Dude? What's that? What's the question? Do I roll the other claw attack? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. We figure it out next session, not this one. <laughs> Damn. It's been a while. Wild the beast. All right, that one misses, but I did get a uh, one more. Oh, fly to Papa! Fly to Papa! You just hear another long tiger roar. <laughs> okay. And uh, it is going to fly over here. Yes. <clears throat> Boomy dart. All right. So it's is it ten feet from me? Uh, looks like it's just yeah, ten feet. Yeah, ten feet. feet. Oh, I couldn't read it. Um. All right. Uh. Hell yeah. Uh, and, uh, yeah, bonus action. I'm going to misty step up here. If you just wanna, I don't know if it'll work if I hit it. Okay, Anton. Anton uh, is going to uh, bonus action move his hex onto this coward. <laughs> coward yes, for good reason. Yes. Finish it. Oops. Spells. Hex. Roll. No, no. Cast spell. Uh, dexterity. <laughs> then he's going to Eldritch Blast. All right, here's the first attack. Hit. Hit. 
Booyah. And it takes nine damage. Did that kill it? It is dead. All right. Dice have defeated the harpies. Okay, Anton is going to look around and then he's going to take the wax out of his ears. Maybe he's um, going to do the same thing. I'm going to swim over to the nest looking thing. Okay. So now, hold on now. Uh, wait, wait, wait right there. And uh, Anton's going to try to follow. Okay. She gets a little bit of a head start. Uh, uh, Octavia, make Anton him... realizes that he has to get in the water to do that, so he's just going to chill over here. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and make an athletics check, please. Me? Yeah. Um, I get advantage with it. Sure. All right. Uh, play a TX. There we go. Okay, uh, you climb up the nest, and uh, when can you... Actually... Oh. Can I use my bestial soul uh, thing and use that check for the jump? Because I can jump pretty high. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she just leaps out of the water, lands inside oh, uh, shit. The, uh, <laughs> the nest, and uh, you look around, and you can see that... Uh, there's some uh, looks like belongings of various sailors uh, who have traveled, and a uh, a chest uh, in here as well. Um, Do you see anything cool? I'm going to lift the chest and shake it because I have no idea how to show you guys. <laughs> oh, bring it here! Uh, I'm going to take out the wax first, and I'm going to say, I don't know if that's a good idea, because it will fall. What but What do you mean it'll fall? In the water. Just don't the, drop it. Th the water's only waist high. Okay, I'm going to do a series of athletic checks to just jump on rocks. <laughs> Is it okay. Wait, before you come back, do you want to look for anything else besides the chest? Uh, turns around to be like, do I see anything that's valuable or like, ooh, shiny? Uh, give me a per, uh, investigation check, please. Alrighty. Investigation. One of my worst traits. Hell yeah. Is there a way? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> there Thank a... you, Vecdiona. Is there a way I can get to like here without having to like do regular jumps, or do I have to do checks to get there? Where do you want to go again? Yeah. Right over here. I don't uh, really want to, like, no, go you, you'd you'd have to climb and. Like... Okay. Well, I want to somehow get there. Okay, go ahead and give me uh, an athletics check, please. Uh, no, thank you. That water looks filthy. I'm not okay, going to. You try to climb and you end up in the water. Alright. Uh, for Octavia, uh, you uh, are looking through some of the uh, uh, various things here. You find a couple bags of gold uh, that total up to 40 gold. Okay. And then, just as you're about to turn around, something catches your eye, and uh, you dig uh, into the nest, and uh, you find three diamonds. Oh! Worth well, about 100 yeah. gold each. Bully. All right. Um, I'm going to put that into my bag and then get the chest and do the I'm going to I'm going to just type this out so I know what the hell I'm holding. Okay. And then I will do those series of athletic checks. With okay. advantage. Go ahead. Um athletics. Okay. You end up here. Go ahead again. Okay. One more. Okay, you make it here. Once you've done that, uh, it is fairly trivial for you to make it to shore. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be over here where they can see, and then I'm just going to drop the chest first. Uh, hold on. Don't, uh, hold, uh, how heavy is that chest? Is that too far of a drop for it? Is it locked? I can uh, I can open it. 
Is it far? And I don't know if we're supposed to unlock it. That wasn't described it's in It's about video. 40 pounds. It looks to be... Yeah. Tied to a rope and lower it. Oh, yeah. Uh, is this the one we were supposed to be looking for? I'm going to pretend that I have a rope. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. I think each of you would have... Okay. And then I will... If not, I, I have a rope. Okay, you let it down, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you let it down uh, without uh, any hitch, uh, and it does have a symbol on it. I don't think we're supposed to open it. That would probably you know, uh, yeah, nullify that's our. That's what we're looking for. That's a bummer. Oh well, at least we found what we came for. Also, here's this, and I throw uh, each of the bags of gold at them. Oh, Ow! money. <laughs> So, uh, you had found four bags of gold, each with ten gold each, so you can distribute it however you'd like. Aha! Uh -huh. I've recouped my losses from the I ship. will, I will literally keep one and put one diamond in that bag, and then I will toss the other three, two of them, which have diamonds, at them. Okay, so we each get a diamond and... and ten gold. And ten gold each. Uh, well, no, you, there's an extra ten. There's oh! A, there's an extra bag oh, with good. an extra ten. So we get 15 and a diamond. Versus if you seven. guys want to split it, that's up to you too. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that ten. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think since I did all the talking, I should get this extra ten dot gold. Yes, yeah, good. Mm. But I like money more, so I should get it. No. And I'm How about more this? See, I told How about you. this? Uh, rock paper scissors for it. Hmm. How about we just say I get it? Kill him. Look, I was, <laughs> I was willing to give you, you know, five of it and split it, but you know, no, I want it all now. Anton, what? not to, not to, you know, be a weirdo here, but is your back talking? Uh, no, no. Oh it's, shit! She uh... can hear me. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. I... I thought you would switch that to the non-verbal. Okay, version. now, now it's not verbal. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you hear anything, everyone? Yeah, you're you're talking to something, but I don't know what. Well, uh, hold down. on. Uh, Forewarn, say something. Something ridiculous. Uh, they all like you. Okay. <laughs> Did anyone hear that? The what? Someone thinks we like you. No, you didn't. Damn hear it. Oh, on. I didn't. My bad. Uh, <laughs> oh wait. Oh, perfect. Uh, no. Bully. Uh, you know, bully? uh, just this one time. You know what? Uh, you did carve, you know what? Here, I will pay you the five gold from the extra 10 as payment for carving the name on the ship. Ah, How beautiful, does that yes. sound? Because I'm an artist, yes. Perfect. You're weak. All right. Listen, if I have to work with these people, I don't need them taking my blood in the sleep for Um, uh, I'm going to get this harpy that's the, the corpse of it and start, like, prepping it for food. <laughs> Hell yeah. And then I'm gonna like, look Hell at four one yeah. like, see, <laughs> we have to play nice. I like that one. All right, <laughs> All right I'm gonna add fifteen gold. Okay. My inventory and a uh, dime. A loot. <clears throat> Anton. Uh, yes, four one. What is it? Don't open the chest, I sent something. Oh, okay, I will not open the chest. There, there wasn't even a plan to open the chest. I I, just, I see that Umi Dark fella. He's looking hey, at uh, me. Uh, Umi Dark! Good mm, fellow. Yes. Uh, mm. Darling, don't go near the chest. Um, uh, all right. Why? It, it's a little bit sketchy. Um, mm, sketchy how? Well, just don't open it, okay? How much? Why do you keep asking questions? How did you even get hired for this job? You ask so many questions, so many damned questions. Because I'm an artist, and people recognize art when they see it, sir. <laughs> okay, then how about this? If you go to our employer, don't touch it, do not look at it, do not look inside it, do not pick it. You can um, ask our employer what's in it, and if he deems it necessary right, to give an answer, right, then you can find right. out what's in it. Just don't open it. The turkey is now right. walking in the air. I want him. <laughs> the smell of turkey. <laughs> you smell turkey? Uh, no, uh, hmm. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. Uh, 
Hmm? Did you just fuck already? <laughs> no, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not giving a couple energy goals. <laughs> dude, Anton fucking hates this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so are you guys doing anything before you head out? Uh, I'm eating back to the ship. Oh my, that smells delicious. What is that? Where did you get that? <laughs> that, that is Harpy. Uh, would you like some? You're eating? Yes, Harpy. that sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, devouring then, uh, our enemies. <laughs> well, before we go, um, I want to go around to the, the har any Harpies that are still intact and not cooked. And I want to... I want to take some harpy blood. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so while uh, Octavia is munching down on some harpy, you guys uh, see uh, Boomy Dark uh, walking around to each of the bodies and uh, withdrawing blood from them. Yes, I exactly. love the fact that each of us probably thinks we're the only normal one. <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you guys uh, spend your time uh, eating and drinking and slurping and doing whatever. <laughs> I don't like that phrase. <laughs> and slurping? All right. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> and uh, it gets to be uh, near nightfall, and you guys are ready to set out, uh, set sail. All right, I'm going to take a swim all the way to the boat. Okay, uh, you guys uh, get onto the boat. Uh, no, you guys run into no issues, and uh, you uh, set sail. The uh, chest is uh, uh, safely aboard. Um, any, of you, any of you guys do anything while you're sailing? Um, I'm gonna take some of my harpy blood and uh, mix it with my red paint, and I'm going to paint in the carving of blade. I'm going to pretend that Anton doesn't know that this is happening. Yes. I'm yeah. still going to say this. Actually, I, promise, I promised you I wasn't going to put blood in it, so obviously I'm not going to put blood in it. Yeah, obviously. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Never would I lie. <laughs> that, um, that paint's going to have a smell to it for a little bit. <laughs> it's going to have extra lead. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to make sure that Anton knows how to run a if he decides to keep the boat. Uh, yes, how hard can it be? You just say, hey, lift this barrel, put it over there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's part of it, but that does not help your sails. <laughs> okay, you tell people, uh, make the sails big or make the sails small. That's Damn, Anton, you're a natural. Oh, you're so Thank good. Thank you, Forborn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the wind's blowing that way. Turn the sails that way. That's not how that works. It's the well, why don't direction. you teach me how to do it? It's the opposite I direction. Actually... Yes, I'm telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> for the entirety of the sailing trip back, uh, Anton is taking sailing lessons, or at least uh, captaining lessons, because no, 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 he's doing none of the work himself. Absolutely not. He's telling other people. While while yeah. you're <laughs> while you while you're doing that, uh, uh, your uh, rapier, uh, what's his name again? Uh, uh, forewarn. Forewarn, yes. Uh, forewarn oh. starts telling you to pick up barrels and putting them down. He, <laughs> he, he, he fancies himself the boss. <laughs> <laughs> pick up the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> For one, I will have other people pick up the barrels and put them down. And uh, while they're while he's dealing with barrels, uh, I'm gonna be like, "Hey guys, check it out! I got uh, finished up over here. Check it out! I throw my little magical touch in there, you know? Check it out! The uh, the now it kind of looks like it's glowing red. Ah oh, yes. Uh, what kind of paint is that? That makes it glow. Oh, I just I used I just use a little bit of magic on it. Nothing nothing else. Ah, uh, some press digitation. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. This won't always be on, right? It's, it's a very subtle glow. Yes, what if we need to uh, be discreet? Will they be able to see this? Uh, yes, I can turn it down. Okay. You got a switch for that? He's got a dimmer. <laughs> Fancy like that. I said, well, you know, 
Art comes in all sorts of vibrances, you know. Blade, dim the lights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's just a bunch so of bands. Umi, when you're done with that, can you start taking care of the wheel before we swift off into the water again? Yes, I would be honored. <laughs> you guys have just been sailing aimlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Where the bloody hells are we? <laughs> this is the way. I Eventually, suppose. you guys make it back to uh, the Can Arden. we have a long rest? And, uh, that's, yeah. <clears throat> you, uh, make it back. So are you gonna, uh, how, how are you guys gonna handle this? Are you going straight to the docks or what are you doing? Um, we're gonna, hmm. what do you guys want to do? Because I, I can say stuff, hey. but. Hey, Anton, you're a man who likes money. Yeah, yes, I do like money. How? How do we make the most money out of this situation? Well, I mean, if we were looking strictly for short-term gain, well, there's two things we can do. Uh, well, one of them is more long-term, the other is more short-term. Uh, the first way to make a lot of money is sell this ship. Uh, but that would only be a one-time payment, obviously. Or we could keep this ship and use it for more jobs, and that would be more long-term game. Uh, if now, you the long-term are... gain would obviously be worth more in the long-term. I, I think yeah. I meant more so this, this treasure chest that we are carrying back. They offered us 200 gold. How do we 200 get more? 200 gold each. 200 gold each. Yeah. How do we get more? Well, here's the thing, my good fellow. Uh, if we uh, intend to stay in this city to do more jobs, uh, that would make us powerful enemies. Hmm. If they have the funds to pay us each 200 gold, that means they have the funds to hunt us down. Mm, yes. I see your logic. Uh, plus, they did say we could get more jobs. By the way, we're parking this boat not at the docks, right? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. We are yes, going to yes, park are... this on a different dock yard. So right there are uh, places to park on the opposite side of the dock area you see down by the pommel. That's typically where some of the smaller ships go or uh, maybe the ships who aren't there for, like, you know, port business. So Yeah. I I'm assuming this ship's, like, a decent size for our ragtag group, but not a huge ship by any I th means. I'd say it's, like, the size of one of these ships. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah we'll that makes sense. Then. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We'll stop there. Uh, it's got like I'll, one. I'll it's got like of... one sail. You know, like. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's basically sloop size. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's as soon as I have it tied to the docks, I'm gonna carry the chest for them. Okay. All uh, right. You guys uh, dock. It is pretty late, so uh, you won't be able to turn it in tonight. Uh, you will have to spend the night somewhere. Protect it. Well, uh, uh we let the ship, us... I suppose. That's free. Well, we could do that. But didn't you say you had a loft where you had all your paintings? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes. It's it's not. It's it's a bit a ways away. We don't. Ne never mind that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't swing that way, Octavia. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. He wanted to stay on the boat. I'm just like, you have a place. What the hell? I am not sleeping on a boat. <laughs> Any more than I have to. I was always suggesting it because I was kind of wanting to put. Well, on our way here, didn't we see a nice little inn? Yes, <sighs> there is an inn just outside the city Better called the Yawning fed. Grove. Ah, oh, that sounds lovely. Well, it's over it, here. I, hopefully, hopefully, it sounds lovely. Lovely. We. I, I'm not. Too, my, my hopes are not too high. Anton. The Yawning Grove. Uh, don't I... get too. Uh, <laughs> Don't get too uh, friendly with me, please. Thank you. <laughs> what, would, what would you like me to refer to you then as, sir? Oh, that's very good. Darling, you <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, well, that was sarcasm. Don't get used to it, bub. Are you guys sharing a room? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> with him? Would, I'm just saying it would save money. No, 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 no. no. Last, I will be having my with room. me, you just, all you have to do is ask. What? That's what you were implying. What? <laughs> Boy, you could take me. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, that sounds like a challenge. Hell yeah. Uh, it sounds like art to be had. <laughs> 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 okay, so you guys walk into the young <laughs> uh, You're uh, greeted by uh, a man. It looks like a pretty handsome man. And uh, he uh, says, uh, Ah, yes, weary travelers. Uh, what, uh, are you looking for a room or two or three? Well, I'm getting my own room. Thank you very much. Okay. And what about you two? Mm, yes, what about us two? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> are you really that strapped for cash? <laughs> yes, I am I am poor. I like to save my money. Okay, you're sleeping outside. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll get a room. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> okay. That'll be uh, a gold apiece here. Thank you. Uh, yep. How much? A gold. Oh, one, one. Did you say ten? I, I, I thought that's what he said. I didn't hear him. <clears throat> and uh, oh. here are your keys. He gives you each a key. And uh, uh, someone who looks fairly similar to him, uh, he, uh, the man, uh, yells over and was like, "Hey, show these, show these three to their rooms." And uh, the kid jumps up. And, uh, he says, follow me, and uh, just, like, sort of trudges up the stairs. And uh, he said, that's yours, that's yours, that's yours. All right, thank you, my good fellow. Uh, and Octavia, uh, I And he holds out a hand. To... Uh, uh, Anton goes, makes a show of, like, checking through his pockets, and then he pulls out one silver <laughs> and gives him one silver. Thanks. And then he holds out his hand towards the other two. Uh, Umi Dark just um, looks at it and goes, do, do, do you want me to touch your filthy hand? Uh, I'm not sure I follow here. Uh, it's customary that you tip? Uh, no, you don't get to see the tip. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my uh, private area. I'm a child. Uh, I'm going to just say, like, I carried my own luggage here. I'm not tipping. And then I go into my room. You'll regret this, uh, he says to uh, himself. Octavia. <laughs> I, Octavia. I, I, I flip him a, a silver just to get him to walk away from me. He grabs it and laughs at you. It's an idiot. Keeps walking. Silver. <laughs> <laughs> I stick um, out and at him. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn around to Anton. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't mind, I'd uh, I'd like to have the chest in my quarters, just because uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Forewarn is a uh, rapier of warning, which means that if anyone were to uh, disturb me in my quarters, he will wake me and warn me. Oh, lovely. You're not trying to. Right, Ooh, I. Sorry, yeah. Oh no, 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 some... no, 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 no! I have something like that too, um, except I just call it a sense of indicating danger. <laughs> I don't need a weapon for that. I, I just call it not being an idiot. <laughs> you know, when, when someone of low art comes around me, I'm well aware of it. Basically, I'm disregarding your offer <laughs> and closing the door. Well, if you lose that chest, you owe me 200 gold. Good as night! Well as me. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> Anton just rolls his eyes at uh, Uma Dark, who tried to glop onto his last statement and just closes his door. Hey, hey, Anton, before, before no. you go to bed. No, hey, thank no, you. Hey, uh, just no. can, I get a, can I get a little drop of your blood? No. It, just a prick. It won't hurt. I'm asleep! <laughs> All right, I'll get, it from you. I'll, get it from you. I'll, I'll get it from you later. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. Thank you. <laughs> you get your sleep, buddy. You did good today. <sighs> and you weren't dreadful today. It was fun, wasn't it? Just us uh, healing stuff. Just, just the <laughs> two of us. Just being pals. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, it, it was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love <laughs> Since um, 
since Anton didn't want to give him any blood, can I? Is there like a like a bar area down at the yeah. at the inn? Can I go down there and look for the drunkest person? Uh, you, you go down there. Uh, this uh inn that you're out, it's not really a uh like where people go to get like drunk. Uh, it's more like a bed and breakfast. Like, uh, okay. there's, there's so like, there's no one really drinking. it's very quiet right now since it's late at night. There's just two people. Uh, one person is sitting there, uh, in candlelight. Uh, looks like he is, uh, uh, writing in his journal. And uh, another person appears to be, uh, eating, uh, eating some food. Gotcha. No oh. one drinking though. No. no. Uh, by just a point of clarification of when this takes place. Does this take place? Uh, prior to the Rog Knights arriving, during yes. the Rog Knights. Okay, prior to so, Rog Knights arriving. So, uh, you guys, the Sentinels are currently not in Cyrodiil. They are, uh, okay. just so you guys know, you guys are out in, uh, uh, what's it called? Grunvir. Grunvir? Grunvir. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Word. Well, uh, he scans the room, uh, Umi scans the room, and he doesn't see any promising, um, targets. Will. Jesus Christ. And he's gonna go. He's gonna... a predator. <laughs> <laughs> Saunter back upstairs to bed. Okay. So if that's it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, head to morning. Is that alright? Yep. Yeah. Change today. And. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Dawn. Okay, uh, you guys uh, wake up uh, feeling like P. Diddy, and uh, I hope not. Please don't I ever say that. Not. Oh, oh my yeah, God. I I forgot. No, no Diddy. No I diddy. can't say that anymore. Yeah. No more Diddy. Yeah, no Diddy. No. Uh, and I'm yeah, you like guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not you, feeling like Diddy. <laughs> you guys uh, are able to turn in your uh, chest now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anton's gonna wake up at uh, his normal time. Well, not his normal time. I'm assuming. Uh... <sighs> Who wakes up first? Not Anton. I wake Who up pretty early. Up... Okay. Umi, Umi doesn't sleep much either since he's a half elf. Okay. Anton's also a half elf, but like he's lazy. <laughs> he just lays Umi... there. <laughs> Umi's just always on the prowl for art. I don't like how you sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the prowl for art. You interpret it how you will. I just did. <laughs> okay, so did, you guys. Is that a uh, long are rest? Uh, yeah, that's a long rest. Cool. Just double checking. I don't want to jump the gun. Be a dick. Oh, resting, resting. Rest. Okay. It is a new day. It's a brand new day. Yep, Anton finally wow. wakes up. Ooh, probably last. A beautiful art. And uh, art, 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 art. Goes to find his companions. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a drink of water really quick. Just act like okay. he's taking a duke or something. <laughs> I'll be downstairs. Okay. Uh, Octavia, where's the chest? Sitting on it. Oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent, perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Sitting on it. Uh, yes, I will have an order of uh, eggs and bacon, please. <clears throat> yes, I can. I'll uh, grab that for you. What about you, little lady? Um, do you have steak? Yeah, steak and eggs, or just steak? Just steak. Oh, yeah. Uh, how would you like that cooked? Um, rare. Hey. <laughs> yes. As rare as you possibly can make it. <laughs> Like, she pretends to think about it. <laughs> he uh, heads back, and uh, you can smell uh, the food being cooked. And uh, after a bit, he uh, brings it out to you. Um, the food here is uh, done pretty well, so uh, you are pretty happy with uh, the food you get. Oh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Your amenities were quite acceptable. Uh, that's very good to hear. I uh, put a lot of work into this little plate. Your son's a hustler, though. Uh, yeah, he's a little troublemaker. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't give you guys too much lift, did he? Oh no, no, no! He just held his hand out until somebody gave him silver. Uh, I told him not to do that anymore. 
I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh no, he's going to go far in this life. <laughs> he uh, goes, he walks away, and when he comes back, he uh, he uh, has two silver in his hand. He's like, here, I'm, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, Anton's going to take both silver. Uh, Umi's going to glare directly you, at Anton. You were taking a dookie! <laughs> <laughs> I know what that silver's for. Give me mine. I heard him apologizing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Dolly. Sir, did you not just give him a silver for that child who schemed us out of our money? Yeah, and I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I commend the kid anyway to make a dime, but yeah, uh, give me my money, pal. Uh, fine, here you go, and then Thank Anton's you. going to give him a silver. <laughs> <laughs> We're, like, we have two Mr. Krabs characters, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm so glad SpongeBob is here. <laughs> okay, so you guys finish up your food, um, and you can go ahead and head out. Uh, would you like to go ahead and turn in the chest? Uh, yes. yes. Let's uh, go to the guards and tell them the thing that we need to tell them. Okay. So we go to the guards, we tell them we need to meet with the guard of the of Peace. We go into the Warden of Peace, and we tell them we need to meet with uh, Remus, <laughs> Raphis, whatever his name is. Max uh, Ramus. Max Ramus. Max Ramus. Morden. Meridius. Yes. Uh, so you head over to the gate, and, uh, a uh, guard holds up his hand, he says, I, I, yep, state your business. We, uh, have business with, uh, Morden Max Ramus. Ah, bigwig, yeah. huh? Yes. Yeah, we are well-renowned, if you cannot tell. I'm a Cut famous artiste. Up, please. You've probably heard of me. We're and doing a job for him. He, we're just responding. What's your name? Octavia. Anton Conley. Uh, you've probably heard of me. Umi Dark, Shadow Seeker. Okay. That's W O O M A Y D O R K. Okay. And Sir, Octavia. Is this the same? Is this the same guard as yesterday? No, it's a different one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> And Anton. Okay. Yeah, I got you guys down here. Uh, here's pass. You guys uh, get four hours. Thank you Thank very you. much. If you need Beautiful. to extend your time, report back to the gate. Oh, I most certainly will. Or you can find old Albrecht up at the north gate. He can help you out. Is there... It, it, uh, uh, excuse me, but before we walk away, is there by chance... Um, a blood donation center around here. <laughs> uh, don't mind him. He what got the hell head. are you? What? I'm so I, sorry I, about my. I have a very special blood type, and doctors say they like it. It's very good for their patients when they are low on blood. Can so you, can you make a charisma check, offering... please? Yeah, I, I was, I was Perfect. offering my blood for these oh, the, the, the people of this town. Can you just ask if they had leeches? Fucking hell. Oh, God. He laughs at you. He's like, ah, funny joke. Okay, go ahead. Get in there. The, uh, uh, all right. I uh, suppose I will query someone else. Or we can just do our job, Umidark. Let's go, please. Umidark, if you I... ask anybody else in our vicinity, we are just going to leave you here. <laughs> <laughs> One can never have too much blood, you know. We will take uh, your pass. Yes, you can. Here. You can have too much blood. Those people are called vampires. <laughs> Never mind that. You guys uh, head into the bustling city, and uh, you can see you're in the Dwarven District. You see uh, people moving, you know, all about. Uh, you make your way up through the city uh, towards the uh, Wopo office. Uh, you see a job board outside and uh, people going in and out of the office. Uh, <laughs> you head inside, and... Uh, you're greeted by a man in armor, and uh, he says... Uh, <clears throat> okay, what uh, what are you folks doing here? What what can I help you with? Uh, we are here to turn in a job for Morden Nax Ramus. Ah, you're the folks he got to do that job for him, huh? How'd it go? Well, we're alive and we're here. Hmm, okay, I know he'll be happy to to to, to hear from you. Uh, yeah, let me just go send word out for him. Why don't you guys have a seat over there? All right. 
has a seat. You guys uh, proceed to sit on the trunk again. <laughs> you guys uh, take a seat, and uh, you're. Uh, it's uh, not long. It's about you know maybe ten minutes before uh, the door swings open, and uh, the room gets a little darker. And uh, in walks uh, the man in uh, flowing green robes. And uh, I'm gonna whisper to Umi Dark and be like, "How does he do that?" <laughs> Very artsy. And he, uh, he walks over I to you. Answer for everything. Says, uh, did you retrieve what I had sent you for? Uh, Anton is going to motion to the chest that is underneath the barbarian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I stand up and I slide it over with a foot. He, uh, looks at it, sort of inspects it a bit, then he waves his hands, uh, over it, and, uh, he, you know, takes a few seconds, sort of, you can see him you know, performing some magic on it, and he says, Quite surprising you didn't open it. Well, that we was were not paid for a job. We may have use of you yet. Uh, this, is, this is good. Uh, he uh, reaches into his pocket, and uh, he throws out uh, a bag to each of you. He says, and a little extra for your trouble, and each of you can add 300 gold to your inventory. I am no longer poor. Thank you very much. He says, uh, each of you are staying in the city, correct? Uh, yes, that is correct. Where Any I... recommendations? Uh, I would suggest, uh, staying at uh, the Velvet Ghoul on the east side of the city. That's where I'll be. You'll yes, I'm me. sure. Go ahead. Yes, I'm sure the Velvet Ghoul has quite acceptable amenities. You'll be hearing from me soon. Uh, stay ready. Stay vigilant. And he, uh, he doesn't pick up the chest himself. He like waves his hand, and it like levitates, and it like uh, levitates in front of him, and he uh, walks out the door. I'm going to turn to both of them and be like, I'm not a fan of magic, but that was cool. That was very artsy indeed. <clears throat> very well, I mean, anyone. Anyone can do that. That's not that hard. <laughs> I mean, I can do that. Yes. It's, How but, come I haven't it's watched very that? <laughs> Why did Octavia no, have to carry can... that thing the whole way? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't question that. She's just like, why can't you do cool stuff all the time? <laughs> well, I, I mean, okay. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and end it there. How was that? Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. See, this is this is why you know I need to. We sort of stopped doing the D and D every week thing, but you know what? I think this is why I need to you know start doing that again. So I like these sessions. Back and forth between characters. If you want to continue doing this. Yeah, forever. yeah, like. I think uh, we'll, we'll uh, keep this going for, uh, you know, the next month or so, and then we'll play it by ear from there, so. You I know. like that you got, like, a main character in Mark's sword. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good, so. Uh, good job, everyone. I was really, oh, uh, everyone who doesn't have inspiration, go ahead and give yourself an inspiration. I was so. I was hoping that we would have to dock at uh, the main dock, and then Anton would have to talk his way oh, yeah. out of keeping his ass from getting kicked. Next time. Legally, he does own that boat. So, uh, but yeah. But that doesn't stop. Uh, <laughs> oh, ne terrifying. Next session will be next for, uh, next Sunday. Uh, excuse me, same time. Uh, are the three of you planning on making it? Uh, yes, I plan on making it. Um, next Sunday? Yes. It'll be yes, rare I'm that I not don't make it. Good. It'll be rare as well because it's only with family, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, at least I'll count on you three next week. I believe we will also have uh, at least LB, maybe Matt too next weekend. I think so. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to meet Milana. We might not have Clay. For, <laughs> well, we're definitely not gonna have Clay next week or the week after. I don't, I don't know if Clay is planning on making a character for this, but, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, good session, though. That was really fun. I, I actually really like all three of your characters, so. Yeah! Uh, yeah, you guys, that was really cool, so. 
Um, okay, uh, we will be back next week. Uh, I saw Kevin Bacon stuck around uh, basically the whole time, so thank you, Kevin Bacon and Tremors, if you're still here. Thanks, um, Casey. Yeah, our number one Thanks, fan. Thanks, Kevin Bacon. So, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, okay, we will see you all next week. I'm going to end the stream now. Bye. 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 Bye.